I also don't remember much about the game. Okay. Some mechanical contraption flies over your location and continues towards the unknown destination. One second, OBS is not on my screen. Uh, unknown destination. Perhaps there could be a way off the island, out of the island. Head to the Ling Tower and pinpoint the location of the flying object. Cool. All right. So for those, oh right, for those who have not seen Dismantle before, uh, the gimmick of the game is you can break just about everything in the game. I don't remember how to do half my stuff. So we got our tools. Yeah, so you see how it says upgrade damage to 55? It means if I had 55 damage, I could break that wall. Now, the other thing that happens in the game... Oh, I remember those things sucking. I don't remember why. Okay. But as you can see, it's a zombie game. But um, if I recall correctly, if we look around, I can set the different regions to have it where... um. I forget what it's called, where you can make it so you can wipe out everything in the area. We got a bunch of locked doors. We got a link tower. There was fast travel, too. I don't remember how that worked. But yeah, so you have like limited resources for the most part, but you can absolutely have ridiculous amounts. What I'm trying to do, I thought there was fast travel. Okay, so the crowbar I have is maxed out. We need steel to upgrade those. I don't remember half the stuff. Oh, right, and every time I use the fire stuff, it respawns. Um, okay. Get some hides real fast. I don't even know what I mean need so I'm just killing stuff because I can um all right I do not for life for me to remember at all what was going on do we start a new game is that what we do we have like the two second vote in chat am I starting a new game or am I continuing to left left off taking like 5 10 50 minutes to remember what's even going on new game new game it is all right let's do that because I'm like what is this game how do I do the things who am I um, save and exit real fast. Play. Um. How does one new game? Save slots. Boom. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, Fahrenheit 24 hour clock. Show emojis. Cool. All right. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Everyone will be provided a safe transit as soon as possible. That suddenly reminds me. Must. I need to change my text to speech. Just to exist. When our society started to collapse, I was prepared. My underground shelter was filled with food and supplies. But that was years ago. Nothing's left now. I have no idea what awaits me at the surface. But I can't stay here. All I know is that there's supposed to be an evacuation site to the east. I need to get there. I need to escape this wretched island. Okay. And I came and be like, start breaking stuff. Start doing things. It's like, break it all. Uh, 
All right. Press left mouse button to strike objects. I would have never guessed. And the table has the power of being slightly too durable. All right. So we have a quest to upgrade our crowbar. To do that, we need scrap metal, scrap wood. And then we just need to, you know, go back down to the area down there. So it's just showing you the basics of how to upgrade stuff and all that. But it's kind of neat in the whole, as you're playing the game, you're able to break more and more things and just like slowly upgrade your things more and more. We upgrade our gear. And we upgrade our crowbar. Alright, so plant matter and scrap fabric to make our backpack bigger. So now we're strong enough with our crowbar, I can break this. So if you remember that table also gave me a fight before. Uh, the way is open, you may proceed forward. Cool. So like I couldn't break this table before, but now I can. But you get the idea there, that Jerry speaking, you end up trashing just about everything you can. And I'm shredding all this stuff because I need um, plant matter and all that. Now you also notice that the stuff doesn't stack particularly high. Um, these things do not respawn. So you collect the materials, and that's good. Um, but you can't actually, like, fully, completely clear an area of everything. All working evacuation transports are outbound. Please keep calm and wait for the maintenance. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. Cool. Hold down the middle button to drag the camera. Gotcha. I also find it interesting that's like, you know, years have gone by since like the end of the world event, whatever it was, and the guy's like, yeah, you know, let me go ahead now and uh, finally leave my home and all that. Oh, there's an evacuation center over there. It's like, really? Is there an evacuation center over there? Ex-human scrapper, a melee-oriented ex-human that finds the strength in numbers, but is relatively harmless by itself. Hold down the left mouse button uh, to strike a power attack, and then middle mouse button to target. Oh right, you can't move when you wind up. That's right. And the game tries really hard to be like, you should head east. Why aren't you heading east? Please head east. We really want you to head east. All we've ever wanted in our entire lives is for you to head east. And you're like, but, but collect materials so I can build things. Zomboid, but make it Fortnite. Eh. Yeah. I actually, so I only played Fortnite back when, like, before the, um, the Battle Royale. Old Jif to run. Like, Battle before, you know, before the Royale days. Like, when it was, you know you trying to you'd have like a base you'd build up um and all that kind of stuff and there was like you'd go into the map and you have to like fight the enemies kind of thing i never got into the battle royale for fortnite it was just not really my thing 
All right, so I need a bunch more scrap wood to make my crowbar better. So break wood stuff. Your plastic. Uh, some basic equipment is needed to even have a chance of survival. Find the map of the link tower. Upgrade your backpack. Cool. We found tomato soup. Um, and early on, the enemies do respawn in the game, but you will get a thing later that allows you to, um, you can put it someplace and then the enemies that you kill in that area won't respawn anymore. And so the idea is you go to the location, you use the thing, you kill all the enemies in the area and then they're gone for good. And then it will give you a material to do that in the next area. Um, and there's pros and cons with killing the enemies early on. One of the cons of killing the enemies very early in the game is that they are a source for some materials. But it's also not that big a deal because you can usually find those materials just about anywhere. I bet you can probably break the fence, can I? Or not. You have leveled up with a campfire to invent a new recipe to help you on your journey. Cool. Alright. Skill gained. Um, inventor. So we can now invent craft. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Um, right. So track the upgrade materials for that. I can make the throwing knives. I remember last time being very unenthused with the throwing knives. Um, so we're going to get the cooking pot as the thing we will unlock. Oh, meanwhile, let's check our wood status, see if we have enough wood for the crowbar. I right, still need a little bit more. We can turn on our music since there doesn't seem to be music. Okay, and we get a tiny little glimpse of the map. Alright, so I have to kill a thing for the east gate to open. And I have to kill a thing for the west gate to open. Yay, mini map. All right. This is start a long journey, but thankfully the basics are in place. Yay. The bare minimum. I was really hoping for some more um, 
some more wood, but that's okay. So we still need more wood then before I can um upgrade my crowbar, which then lets me break more things. You get the idea. Like, even stuff like these cars. Once I get enough damage, I can take those apart. So it's kind of just a nifty game where you can kind of just keep building stuff. Alright, so I can't get through there yet. Oh yeah, in places like this, like early game will have materials that can be really useful. But um, if you miss them early in the game and you start like tooling yourself up, you can just smash through the wall and be like, yeah, this is this is where I'm going now. I had a few times there was areas that clearly I had meant to be at earlier in the game that I just rolled in and just shredded. Oh, and the zombies do not one-hit kill. They just do damage like most zombie games. underground shelters I say this is that really something that will help your neighbors or is it an act of pure selfishness something that only a snake would do this is an automated recording sent from k23 the crown station they're like hey you can survive but the way you're doing that's kind of a jerk and selfish move I don't necessarily agree with the assessment but you know, just deliberately calling your character out. Campfire restores your health, but also respawns monsters. However, there is a way to stop the monsters from coming back. Yep. You don't have it yet. Um, so I want to track you. So I need scrap fabric, wood, and plant matter. In the meanwhile, leveled up our crowbar. Okay, invent a link tower toolkit, install a deadly transmission to the link tower. Um, and then the idea behind that is if we do that, we can stop the monsters from respawning entirely. But now, we can break stuff we couldn't break before. Now help us get materials we need to upgrade stuff. Plus there's something satisfying about like slowly purging the entire area of everything. So I just need wood and plant matter to upgrade my backpack, so I'm just going to tear apart these fences for that real fast. Destroy a hundred objects of any kind. Yay. 
wonton destruction for no reason. It's what we've always wanted. We're trying to destroy even the trees. Yeah, I need a different tool though. So finish that off. Okay, so we can upgrade our backpack now. Okay, so we have a new level up, which allows us to gather a whole bunch of different things. Um, but I'm going to say more stuff. So it's letting us know we have all these different things. So we have the Link Tower Toolkit. We can get that at 7. We have the Baseball Cap, which gives us more throwable damage and more block we can get a bag of blood which we can use to help ourselves and then the throwing knife I remember being disappointed with the throwing knife Um, alright, inventory. Oh, so I made it and immediately put it on my head. Okay, that's fair. Cool. Amber pills. Standard island state issue pills use their situation where there's no other way out. Right click for a painless death. Uh -huh hum. Why are those standard issue pills in the island? To like give your character some like cyanide pill or something what Is there anything here I can break? Can I break the bathtub? No, but I could probably go through that pallet. That was fun. Alright, so this is the big guy that was blocking the gate over here. So kill him and we'll be able to open the east gate. Only your AI was not this bad. All right. So now the gate is clear, so I can go and uh, open the gate. Um.
All right, so let's open the gate with the tower before we respawn anything. And I believe that blue thing I just grabbed is the thing involved with making stuff not respawn ever again. So open the east gate. And transmitters. Invent the link tower toolkit to unlock this option. Transmitters have various effects in the area. Monsters can be permanently killed so they won't respawn. And I have to be level 7 to be able to make it. So before I worry about anything else, let's put all this stuff in here. And let's make our cooking pot. Cool, so ourselves a cooking pot. And we'll track it and the hat. Actually, I track you too? No. All right, and I believe we check. We can cook now. Uh, cooking and eating gives you permanent upgrades to various stats depending on the dish. Survivors, the survivor doesn't have to eat to stay alive. Yep, so it's basically saying I can make things like the tomato soup and I'll permanently get a bonus to my max health. So it's really useful. So we need to find a good source of ceramic. The pretty sure I can't break toilets and sinks yet. Alright. Alright, so... I need more supplies. Very specifically, I want to find ceramic. Because that's going to be a must for us to upgrade our crowbar again. Actually, let me rephrase that. We need ceramic and or fabric. Because the fabric we can use to upgrade our backpack so we can carry more, which means less trips and all that. Oh, we have dodge rolls. Alright, so we got a lockpick there. All the other windows are boarded up, so I can do the math on this one that we're not getting in this place right now. Okay. Alright, so I can't break you yet. Oh. oh, and all your supplies are linked between all your campfires. Cool, so once we invent throwing knives and the campfire and all that. Right.
All right, we still don't have another backpack, so that's fine. Electrical scrap. Okay, so we can make our backpack better, so let's do that now. We can also invent stuff. Um, so before we invent stuff, let's upgrade our current gear. And now I no longer have the materials I need to make this. Which is not at all unsurprising. Alright. Just continue to break stuff, upgrade her stuff, all that. If you didn't guess, those materials stay behind after you walk away. Okay. And that gives me enough to make tomato soup. No, it doesn't. My cooking pot cannot handle tomato soup. Never mind. Unfortunately, I need materials I don't think I can get a hold of right now. Let's upgrade it. Uh, so let's go in our items real fast. Never mind. I say to uncheck that um that recipe for the time being. Oh, actually, let's drop off real fast. Okay. So, I guess I can't. I probably can, I just probably not looking in the right place. Alright, well, before we leave the area, I still want to see if I can't upgrade my um, crowbar one more time before we leave. I wonder if I aggro them if they'll open something up. I guess not. Probably just not away from them to reach me. I want pizza too. All right. We can't get into that place. Let's run down this road. Ah. 
Okay, it does look like I'm gonna probably have to... No, actually. I probably just need to go west instead of east. I can probably find a couple more coffee cups or whatever. Plates, coffee cups, that kind of nonsense. Uh, let us upgrade our crowbar real fast. It's like every time you get an upgrade to one of your tools for breaking stuff, like a whole new realm of things becomes available for you. Because then what was walls and other things suddenly aren't even an issue. Oh, there will be our ceramic. More tomatoes. All right. Drop all that off, and it's upgrade the crowbar time. All right. Now I got more stuff we can break. Alright, beds are now available for being broken. Which gives us proper fabric. Which is what I need for our upgrade cooking pot. Okay, so twin beds are available for breaking. Sofas. Alright, so we can now make a shovel and a flashlight, so let's look into that. Alright, um, increase the chance to find extra material when searching. Animal friend unlocks animal treats, animal friendly are less afraid of you. And then gather, start, um, start gathering mushrooms, birds, eggs, and our useful resources that you found in the wilderness. I'm going to do that one because the scavenger is only when you're searching, not breaking stuff. So it's a little bit more nuanced. All right. Um, so shovel, I need scrap metal. So we're going to put that on the list. Um, the sleeping bag, what do you even do? I don't really care about that. Alright, so let's go get some scrap metal. That shouldn't be hard to do. Let's go up here and start trashing trash cans and all that. Yeah, so you can sort of see how this becomes like you end up circling back to places you've already been and stuff you skipped the first time you end up going back and destroying because now you can. Including the radios and all that that used to give you information. You're just like, oh, already heard that radio. Destroy that forever. Where's that campfire? It's over here, right? Yep. Uh, 
Okay, so we can get rubber now. There's a couple more of those over here somewhere, as I recall. There they are. There's rubber and ceramics that I need for my next upgrade here. Can I break these yet? Nope. What, what's the power requirement? 25. We're at 20. Alright, let's drop this off. And I do not believe there's any kind of limit in your storage so far as materials. Just your backpack. So especially when you're right by where you can drop stuff off, there's no reason to not take the time to, like, break stuff apart and do it. Oh, can I break the bathtubs yet? We didn't check since we got the upgrade. Alright, bathtubs are a no. Um, but let's see if we can't go to one of the other places and check the sinks and the, um... Toilets. All right, sinks and toilets are breakable. Well, at least sinks are breakable. Toilets are not. Sinks are breakable, toilets are not. Let's go through the neighborhood and start trashing some houses. I should probably drop off while we're here. And the map is actually like really big. Um, you do end up, over time, like, you'll have certain materials you start running out of in the area you'll have to go to other tiles to get. Um, you also run into problems where there's just materials that aren't available in certain places. breaking half the time over here because I'm not turning my camera. Alright, so let's run and drop this off. Yes, I broke the doghouse. breaking part of the playground because the children are allowed to have fun. In the memory of the native inhabitants of the island, original artifacts as discovered in 19th century. Where's Fido going to live with no house? Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about Fido. Um. Ooh. Okay, park benches give me iron. So we're now going to target some of these park benches. All right. 
inventory is full again. It's actually one of the reasons why I liked to try and, um, when I played this last time, the mode I realized how important the backpack was. I started targeting it as something to upgrade. It's also a reason why I like to take the, um, it was like pack rat or whatever as fast as I can. Yeah, no, uh, it's okay. Fido, Fido went uptown, uh, went, went to the farm. You're much, much better for Fido over there. Lots of animals, lot, lots of outdoors to run around in. All right. So I still want to keep smashing all the park benches we can. We can get some ceramic out of here. Nothing down there. Does that count as a bench? Nope. Can I break the slide? I was hoping for actual iron, not just scrap metal, but it's okay. But even stuff like that gives you information. They gave you like, yeah, you can tear that apart. Once you're happy that you got the information on it, it can be destroyed. I actually vaguely recall, if we were looking at that last save file, the one where it was like, from a while back, that's like, oh yeah, I remember I played this before. Um, and I couldn't remember what was going on, which is the reason we started a new one. Um, I think it was still trying to upgrade to a cooking pot one. Investigation. Requirements not met. Oh, I have to be level five. Music so relaxing? Yep, that is a deliberate decision. I'm glad it is uh, accomplishing its goal. One of the ideas behind the channel is that, you know, I offer content to help people, you know, relax, vibe. If you're, you know, people deal with anxiety, help, you know, bring them back down to good headspace and all that kind of stuff. Just generally, people give. You know, place to relax and all that. Alright, so my inventory is full, so let's stop breaking stuff until we get some room. Um, there should be a campfire over here. There you go. One thing I also appreciate about this game a lot is you don't have to build, like, a box as, like, 10 space, and our box is, like, 10 space, and our box is, like, 10 space. You just have your inventory. 
and then you don't have to go over and like click them one over by one over. You just well, I'm say drop my junk in here, and your junk is dropped in there, and it's just done. What am I hitting? I don't know what I broke, but I'm okay with that. For those of you thinking of building your private underground shelters, I say this. Is that really something that will help your neighbors? Or is it an act of pure selfishness? Something that only a slave... The radio is being mean, so it had to be destroyed. Hey, JT Jet, how's it going? All right, so I'll run this back. And I believe the only thing I need for my next backpack is we have to go catch some animals and kill them, which I won't be able to do without leaving town. There's just not enough animals in town. One iron short of being able to make the cooking pot. I made really good progress on the ceramic towards being able to make my next level of crowbar. Yeah, as I recall, the big tires, if I remember correctly, um, you can break the- I mean, you can break just about anything other than, like, terrain. But, um, I want to say you need, like, a bladed weapon. It's like a machete, that kind of thing. Drop this off. Oh, that's in our park bench right there. In with the pile of trash. So drop all this off. We'll tear a bunch of this trash up because it's got the park bench right there. It's also got rubber right here. It's at level 7 that I can potentially get the thing that allows me to just disassemble stuff forever. Or not disassemble, um, kill enemies forever. Alright, so we've got enough rubber. Now I just need more ceramic. And then we can make our crowbar. Alright, so, I can make the cooking pot. Now with the cooking pot... I can make the tomato soup. Choose between four instead of three when leveling up. Hoarder. XP from storing materials increased. Sure. Um, before I worry about any of those other things are being offered, upgrade gear. Cooking pot. And now we're at Invent Materials. Okay. So it's got Slashing Damage. That has Blunt Damage. Then dig up stuff that's hidden underground. Those are easy materials, so let's just do the shovel. There's no question about that. Um... Now, the thing that's becoming a little bit of a question is seed bag. Contains different types of plant seeds. Right, for farming. 
Um, so the thing that's curious here is I can make the sickle right now, but that'll use up most of the ceramics I have for going for the, um, for the crowbar. So I think I'm going to save for the crowbar and then we'll make the sickle. And I believe the sickle will make it much easier for me to um, get rubber, so they can then shred tires. Oh. I could have done it the whole time. Yay! I made some delicious steaming soup from overgrown and ripe tomato pulps. Mmm. Alright, so it seems like... Ceramic, hides, steel, and rubber are the bottlenecks right now. Oh. Okay. I forgot that, that, like, leaving the town is, like, the intro. Here I am just, like, progressing the entire game. No, kill it. Kill the deer. I need it. No, no, kill both those, all three of those deer. They all need to die. Don't let them go. I need their hides. And I guess their meat is fine, too. Oh, especially kill the focus testers. That deer is going to be the most delicious. Yep, and the evacuation site. And someone who looks remarkably like Handsome Jack. Like the hair's wrong and the attire's not quite right. But it's pretty close. You suddenly get the feeling that you should go somewhere, as if a force is pulling you towards it. Find out what is causing it. And it's just an absolutely absurd amount of XP. That's DLC content. All of that. It's our fearless king from the crown station. Dong. Wonder what happened to him. Probably this. Probably what happened to him. He was like, I'm doing a good job leading. And then he wasn't. And then that happened. Alright, it's blocked, which means I need to go around it. I also appreciate that the game doesn't bother with, like, stamina for just running around. I think if you're in combat, it does. But at least for, like, traveling, I appreciate that they don't have stamina. I've, I've said this almost every time it comes up. I really like that games are being better about the you're not in the fight, let the player be kind of situations. Just because it's really aggravating when you're trying to travel across the map and you have to do it so slowly because of balanced decisions for while you're in a fight that you're not in.
Don't worry about what's happening in this house. It's none of your business. Mind your business, zombie. We'll be back to this house in a minute. You're gonna mind your business, just saying. Alright, so we might be able to get enough ceramic out of the house to upgrade our crowbar again. One more ceramic is all I need. And I already see where I can get it. Recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. All right, let's drop off. Up, oh, grab you. Because we're about to upgrade our crowbar and make it better. And then we smash things better. So upgrade, crowbar. So yeah, so next I need fabric and rubber. That's actually not that bad to do. Um, let's also look down here. So you just need ceramic. So they no longer have a conflict. Cool. Um, so mechanical contraption. Yeah, that's the one we just read over. That's the new DLC that just came out. We're not ready for any of those DLCs, sadly. Um, it is a thing that we did find out in the last playthrough. You can kind of be cheeky and get around a lot of stuff by running into some of the DLC areas before, like, the monsters really pick up. And snagging some, like, high-end materials real fast. That kind of messes with a lot of stuff. All right. Break everything. Break it all. We get all our ceramic from our toilets and our sinks and tear apart the radiator. Get the trash can while we're in here. Okay, radiators give iron or steel or whatever that is, so that's something to keep in mind. Gonna break the doors yet? Nope, doors are way stronger. Okay. So we'll see if that's enough to make the sickle, because I believe with the sickle I can shred tires. Um, and if I can shred tires... Three more. If I can shred tires, then I can get a bunch of rubber, and rubber's currently blocking a lot of our stuff. And at just over a level, I'll be able to start permanently killing stuff.
All right. Gotcha. Good strider. Sounds like that went well, which is always what you hope. Drop this off. Um, so let's check real fast to see if I have. I forgot I have a shovel. There's a way you could tell when you're at something we could use it with and not. Please let no let you know. I told him. Oh, um, sorry, just missing which part, like the getting older, like it's just tough, like that thing, or, because I mean, it is true, like, even, even at my age, there's stuff I can't do that I used to be able to, and I'm not that old. I mean, you can even go, like, just for, like, even children, you go, like, a baby and, you have, or I shouldn't say baby, a toddler. You have toddlers will do all sorts of stuff that make like people gasp. You're like, oh god, are you okay? And you're like, they're basically made out of rubber. As far as I've been able to observe, toddlers are made out of rubber. They slam face first in the wall, they bounce right back up, they get up. As long as you don't panic. Yeah, I know it's tough. It It is. And it's especially, and I think it's going to be a much bigger problem for the generation older than my own because there was so much pride in doing everything yourself kind of thing which isn't necessarily a bad thing but as a consequence when you are getting to that point you can't it's harder to accept help when that was previously seen as like a thing of weakness which is garbage like ever everyone needs help at different points in their life you know you get in a car accident you get hurt and you struggle age um you just get sick like it's not it's not a thing of pride i mean the pride gets in the way yes but like it's just kind of the reality of life That said, I'm sure it is way easier to say in my position than, you know, when the thing in question about, like, what you can and can't do gets to stuff like being able to walk and stand up on your own and use a restroom on your own. Um, like, losing that kind of stuff, I imagine, has got to be way more difficult to, to cope with. All right. Age is a punk. There's no respect. All right, so fast learner, pack rat two. Yes, always. More stuff. I think it's a small hug, which is something I very rarely do with the our men. Yeah. All right, so. Now I can use that for shredding tires. To get that rubber. We gonna save the rest for right now. Oh. In this game, you don't get much life. Like, you saw I got kind of a, a glancing blow, and it took about a third of my health, just shy of. Um, so it looks like it's like, man, this game seems easy. It's only because I kind of already have... Hey, you need to be that way.
Oh, come on for your melee attack that's super strong. I know you want to go for it. Finally. Oh. Just plain wood. I forgot that was actually a thing in the game. And I vaguely remember, and I don't remember what they were, there were things in the later in the game that were effectively material sinks. That there was stuff that you would make more of that would gobble up the cheap materials in large mounts. Alright, so I got a bunch of ceramic there, but I don't have the inventory space. I got that opened up where I can get to it. I do not want to hit the campfire itself, I just want to hit the storage so I don't have to fight all those guys again. Let me just go boom, drop that off. Run down here. Hey, Tiny. Have fun. This game looks interesting. Um, do you make a base in this? Uh, I know there was farming. I don't remember if you actually make, like, a base itself. I'm feeling like the answer is no. But I don't really remember. Um, it has been a long time. That said, you hack and break stuff. And the kind of like the the gameplay loop is you break stuff, you explore, you gain more materials to make yourself a better at breaking stuff, exploring. Because like you can break everything. So I can go up to this wall. If I had 40 damage, I can go right through the wall. If I have 30 damage, I can break this bench. So like fences, yep. If I get 25 damage, I can go through that. Barricade? Yep. 55 damage and go through that. You can break pretty much everything. Alright. I didn't need to do that. I wasn't looking for um ceramic right now. Uh I don't really care about the throwing knives right now. Um I'm gonna go ahead and make it because I just have extra material for it. Uh, we should probably put you on track. Because this is the thing I really want, is the Link to Tower Toolkit. But I can't get that for one more level. Alright. And I vaguely remember going down this way. That there's something really dangerous. There's like one of these that's like a really dangerous version. Back in one of these buildings somewhere. Hey, hey, near to well games. Thank you so much for the raid. Get you a shout out here in a second. Hey, Moriarty, how's it going? Good seeing you both. Moriarty let me know yesterday about the, uh, getting the cup in. So it's, I'm still really happy that it got to be a thing where we got that gift and all that. You know, you got to win and give it over and all that kind of stuff. It's really awesome. Yep, the mug. The playing zombies, it's a figure. It'd be great to raid you. Yep, color to me. Gotcha. Yeah, zombies are a good time. I'm glad. Like I said, I, I have the mugs here. Like, I already put them back down the thing. And I use them from time to time. Like, the only reason I don't use them super often is I don't drink much coffee. So it's like when I want to have tea, I use them. Alright, we're going to go in here and 
Hey, friend. Bonk. He is the best. Yeah, T is definitely in my... If I'm, like, not feeling great, T is my best friend. Um, like, I've only been decently sick once since I started streaming. What was that? Oh, yeah, it was, like, a really awful sore throat kind of thing. Um, and so, like, I took a stream or two off, and I'm like, no, you start, you start going, I really need to stream more, like, this is my full-time job. Um... And it was one of those things that it was like, the only thing keeping me able to stream was basically tea and honey. And an unreasonable amount of honey in that tea. But, um, yeah. But yeah, for anyone who came over with uh, with that raid, I am Rollstars, who play a variety of games here on Twitch. I'm most known for my exploits in Project Zomboid, where I used to hold the world record for the highest kill count run ever streamed at 135,121 zombies killed in one life. Um, you know, like, one life, one character, single player, no mods that change itemization, or any of that. Uh, it was good times. That record has been beaten up, so I'm no longer the one that holds the record. I find most people who drink copy, uh, coffee, they, uh, they either drink it in lots or not. There's very little in between there. No judgment on it, it's just... It's kind of like where some people drink lots of soda. It's just coffee instead, is is the way I'm used to it. I've only ever known, like, one or two people who have, like, the one cup at the beginning of the day, and that's that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not big on coffee. I don't really like the taste of coffee. Breaking everything. But, I mean, it's the same thing as, like, with soda. You're You're there for the caffeine and all that. You know, getting your fix through A versus B is kind of just nothing to worry about. Yeah, break everything. We drink coffee is the strong stuff. Yup. Don't use to buy me coffee every day in my old work. Um, I didn't have the heart to tell them I don't like this very much. Oh yeah, that's um. I won't say who that way if they ever listen in. I have a um, I have family. Um, and I won't spe specify the specific thing. That they've got it in their mind. I really like. Um, for a snack, and I really don't. It's those things. I'm like, Tomb's like, hey, they sent it again. Um, would you like it? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. I'll eat it. What am I breaking? Oh, the electrical box. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, wait a second. I shouldn't be able to get through a concrete reinforced wall quite yet, this crowbar. Build this game so much. Yeah, we, um, they had an update on the 19th. Um, so I was bouncing between games earlier. And, yep. They started you. Yeah, you're like, thank well, Stardew would actively hurt your relationship when um you give them something they don't like. Versus this is more like um Sunhaven. Where you give them it's like, oh great. They know you're still you're still thankful for the gift. Um But at the same time you're like, yeah, I like it's it's still a generally positive thing because you haven't corrected it, so the fact that they did think to give you something and all that feels good. But you're also like, no, really. Like, not this. Um, I haven't had a chance to play it yet. How is it? Oh, this game? Um, this game's been fun. As far as the new DLC... Um, it, okay, you didn't aggro. The new DLC, I haven't had a chance to really check it out. It's a bit awkward. Every day. For years. Yep. So you're not seem to be aggroing by noise. Okay, I was about to say, that monster looks extremely dangerous. I should be careful that it doesn't see me. Yep. I do remember killing a few of these, and it was awful. I 
Okay. I didn't help that when we got this beverage. Um, they see my tea. They didn't take the hint. Yeah, some some people need a complete lack of subtlety. Bonk. Well, I would have snuck up on them, other than the fact that I slammed in the red lesson. You have to hate those guys so much they drive me bonkers. Yeah, it was, I remember, um, when we last played, I had gotten the thing for clearing areas. And I was kind of like going through and systematically wiping those things out to have them gone forever. Because they're so obnoxious. But I like that you can do the whole thing where they can systematically clear the area. Alright. So do I want to take the time? Where did he go? Oh. Okay, I guess it's far enough away he unloaded or something. Okay, I think timing-wise, if I break that red barrel when he's around here, it should hit him. Aw, oh, it was like a fraction of a second too early. Okay. Oh, did I not make it yet? See, uh, let's see, um... Nier's probably on the way to get me. But he's getting into Zomboid. Watch well, him learning all the zombie shenanigans has been fun. Oh, yeah. That's, um... There's a lot of times I'll play games that'll be like the first time the upper is like, oh, I'm so sorry it's taking me so long to figure out. I was like, no, I have fun with this. Like, very genuinely watching people learn games is a lot of fun for me. Alright, so you can't go down there. Can't go up here. So that's the way on the next area. Let's see if there's anything up here we care about. Not really. Like, um, I enjoy watching new players when they're first learning, um, like Factorio very specifically because you can kind of watch like they'll do something and it won't work quite the way they expect and so you can kind of like see the gears turn as they like go from one thing to the next thing to the next thing trying to figure out how to do whatever it is they're trying to do and it's it's interesting and fascinating to be like just watch the thought process that you can see like they put the thing down, the arm turns the wrong way, and you're like, alright, well, why is the arm doing that? And just kind of, kind of just watching through all that stuff. Do I, do I not have the sickle? I have made a sickle. And I can even upgrade it. Watching them do silly things like panic with the bugs freaking too. Yeah, there's there's so many different ways it can be so much fun. We get a couple upgrades in our sickle real fast, that's for sure. Okay. The question is, why did I see the sickle when I hit one? Ah, I see. I only have two weapon slots. Okay.
Well, it sucks to be you. I figured you played Minecraft much? Is that right? Um, I played a long time ago, and I really did have a great time with it, but I kind of played to the point that, like, I burned myself out pretty hard on it. So that was, like, way, way back. Oh, it's a crafting bench. So let's drop this off. So then we can get more rubber, we can upgrade our crowbar one more time. I suspect we start looking back this way start finding rubber. What I need to watch is every time I've run over here in the past, those giant gaping holes everywhere, I'll lose track of them in the shadows sometimes and just run right into a hole. Alright, I gotta hydrate and a stretch and all that. So let me go ahead and get that hydrating stretch real fast. Yeah, so the whole gimmick of this game is just like to keep upping your equipment more and more and more. Take a sip. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? And just do that until you get to the point that you can just destroy everything. I'm actually surprised we're having this kind of turnout. I just put like dismantle on there because like, all right, I haven't played that in a while. They had an update. Um, because I had played some more Last Epoch earlier in the stream, and it was, you know, it's like, Last Epoch's a fun game, but it, when you get towards the end game, like, it kind of gets grindy and there's not a whole lot of interest there. It's a, it's a thing that happens with a lot of action RPGs, um, is unless people are specifically into it, they're usually not that into it. Yeah, more power, more breaky. Right. Versus, like, this game, the last time we played it was an absolute blast. Like, had a good time with it and everything. But, you know, it's not like it was any big thing. I think we played it the last time there was a major update, too. DLC, I mean. The game seems like it's really lifting. I like watching you play any variety. Your opinions are similar to my own. Gotcha. It's one of the things that, as a content creator, you know, there's certain... There's certain things that are, like, kind of tried and true things that happen in the, um the industry and under stuff that's a little bit more risky and generally speaking people will say hey like you got to be really careful about playing too much of right oh you're going down dear i need your hides come back give me your skin Oh, your friend's gonna get it next. Alright, um...
It's a good gauge whether a game is worth it. Yeah. All right, give me that skin. Because I need those to make my backpack better. Where's your friend? Oh, oh, I was about to say you're lucky you got away, but you didn't. Hey, look, we can team up on it. We can, we can make sure it doesn't get away. Okay. Get him. Yeah. Me and Zo you, zombie, will box it in. Come on, buddy. Wait, I regret this. I'm not ready for you. Okay. Yeah, no, they just had a update, too, so it's just like, all right, yeah, let's put in the list of possibilities, and people voted for it. It's not the first time we play on the channel, but it's been quite a while. Oh, there you are. Get back here. Got him. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, it's a um, it's a full-on DLC. All right, we should get back to where we have stuff set up. Because we were actually after rubber this whole time. On the plus side, though, I believe we have what we need to make the toolkit so that we can permanently kill stuff. Um, edit materials, uh, you are carrying regain hit points. Press F to open them. Um, fighters, more damage towards enemies. Let's see, unlocks animal treats recipe. Animal friendliness makes animals less afraid of you. Sure. Um, all right. So what am I missing? I must invent the connected thing. Okay, I didn't necessarily feel like making a priority. There's the Link Tower Toolkit. So now when we, we can go to places we can start killing things and making them stay dead. Um, I do want that, but not yet. I want I want my tools first. Okay, so I think we will start right here with this zone. Oh, wait. Your beacon thing is in there, isn't it? That's right. I think we're already most of the way there, too. I think we just go through here. ourselves get hurt for no reason okay it was this build 32 or 40 32 42 nope <laughs> uh 
All right. So transmitters, the deadly transmitter. So I need six electronics. Show statistics. Okay. So I need a bunch of electronics and that kind of stuff. Um, locate drone. Yeah, that'd be the new DLC that we're not even remotely prepared for. Um, scan for anomalies. Which is another DLC we're not even remotely prepared for. And I need to invent a compass before I can fast travel. Alright, so we've got the gate open now. Start trashing everything we can, getting materials. Uh, the big thing I want is to get hides, which I'm not going to find here, and rubber. Because if I get 12 rubber total, then I can upgrade our crowbar and break more stuff. the sledgehammer. I don't even remember half the stuff in the game. But yeah, it is those things that you just, as you get to the point of being able to wreck more and more, it just gets way more satisfying to just go through and shred it all. It's also fun to go back where you just have to like go around these incredibly elaborate paths and all that. You just don't anymore. It's like, no, nah, I'm just gonna go right through the wall. It's fine. Okay, and that is not how I do what I'm looking to do, and crowbar maxed. All right, the compass is the next thing there. We've unlocked a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to worry about most of that right now. Um, upgrade gear. So let's untick the crowbar because there's nothing left to do. Alright. Oh yeah, it does want me to make the throwing knives. I don't really have a reason not to make them right now. Um. It's fine. These measures will suffice. Cool. Alright, we can break fences. We cannot break doors. We can break skulls. What I'm doing now is this is a timed crate. It gives good stuff, but you have to get really quickly. So what I end up having to do is run up here, tag the fire, leave the fire, and run down here as fast as we can. Ignore this guy. And we got our first supply crate. All 
All right. To basically purge that house of everything worthwhile. Not yet. Oh, can I break the sandbags yet? Nope. Concrete? Nope. Hard mail rating mailing? Nope. Just clearing out all the brush here real fast. Because there's places in the game that you get lucky that you'll have like locked doors and go, man, how do I even get in this place? It'll just be a hole in the wall behind some like brush or whatever. I guess I just can run around and open that door. We found spices. Fish soup. Okay. All right. It's such a um, satisfying track back this game does. Oh, yeah. There's not many games that, like, going back to where you previously were feel very good. But in this one, it's satisfying because you go back and there's all this stuff you couldn't do anything about before. And you're just like, yes, destroy it all. I want it all. And then plus you end up really wanting a bunch of those materials so it actually gives you a reason to go back and tear up stuff. They also do a really good job about giving you ways to like shortcut back and forth so you don't have to do like these ridiculously long treks around, you know, pathing around all the obstacles. Grab that ceramic. And then move on deeper in here. Or not, because I realized that's locked and I had to go in the main building to get there. Never mind. Okay. Now, I'll probably go to do what we were going to do before. Was going to drop off. Well, actually, can it break you? Nope, not yet. So, so tracking back before, because there's all the tires that were in the first area I couldn't do anything about. I'll be a great source for rubber for us. Um, and then plus on that, I can go to that first area and just start using 
like use the thing that lets me kill monsters and they stay dead forever. You just systematically execute all the enemies in that area. Okay, got two of them. I remember these ancient stone formations. Oh, ho, ho, we're so close to upgrading our backpack. Where'd you go, Bambi? Ah, denying me that last hide I need. Where's your friends? There you are. That'll do nicely. Oh, there's a tire back here. Alright, so it's going to be time to wreck a lot of stuff in this place. But first, we upgrade our backpack. That is not where we go to upgrade our backpack. We upgrade our backpack. Cool. Um, sure, none of those materials are hard to get, so we can upgrade you too. So I don't remember what we need the actual wood for quite yet. Um, so next backpack is literally just more hides. Is this new game plus? No. I um, I had one save file I was playing over that was near the end of the game. But when we opened it, I was like, I don't remember what I was doing with any of this. So I was just like, should we continue this one on where I'm going to take like 10 minutes to remember what the heck I'm doing? Um, or what? Yeah, I know the new game plus this one does either. Oh, good. It's now showing me all the red marks of where enemies are on the map. Might be that we need to run back out of those woods and just kill more deer for more hides. Upgrade our backpack again right away. Yes, we're getting actual wood. Can all right. So bathtub still too tough for us. We 
can mostly break almost all furniture in buildings now. Not quite absolutely all of it. Yeah, so we're going to go out of our way. I'm going to drop this off real fast. Um, then I think we're going to go back out and go after a couple more deer because we get six more hides. That'll be enough to upgrade our backpack again. It'll just make gathering materials that much easier. There's our first targets. New storage box upgrade. Where did the others go? Wrong corner, friend. Okay. That's one we already killed. Can't go around that way. There's the next target. I have lost track of you. Finding bones, but we're not finding what we're looking for. But first, because I'm curious, um, items. I say, because that's not incredibly suspicious. Just need two more hides. I know we've seen at least that many more deer. I just gotta track them down. Wait, no zombies? This looks like it'd be the next best product. There are zombies. That's literally what I just killed. Um, they're more like the mushroom growing on your head kind of zombies. Yep. But the gimmick behind this game is basically you can take apart just about anything. Like this wall, if I get my damage high enough, I can just knock down a concrete wall. Nothing is safe. It's just a matter of time. Right now what I'm doing is I'm looking for deer. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree to that, that it's more hoarding all of the things. All 
Alright, we got the recipe for corn cob. I don't even remember what you do. Um, I don't really care about the throwing nut. It's fine. Oh, and stuff doesn't respawn the game. It's like you can slowly like clear out the entire map of all the stuff. I mean, I should rephrase that. The zombies and the deer and stuff will respawn, but like once they clear out all this like junk piled up in all these buildings, it'll stay gone. So it does force you to revisit places in the past to um, better clear them out, that kind of stuff. Okay, invent a seed bag, plant seeds, harvest crops. Okay. Oh, I have to invent it here, don't I? All right, so we can get a chance of gathering double, chance to get um, extra materials when searching, the animal friends. Let's see, is there storage universal? Yeah. Yeah, so if I store stuff in one place, it's everywhere. Alright, so invent. We can... So what does this do? Um, storage box upgrades. Enable the taking of materials out of the camp storage box and placing them back into your carried material slots. Removing materials costs additional XP. Oh, interesting. So I can, like, teleport stuff in and out of my storage. Just invent everything. Alright, so let's look at our tools. Okay. So first of all, I'm equipping that because I saw tire inside here. Uh, which I cannot yet break. So in that case, we will go ahead and get the hoe. Oh, and I played this before. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't even realize that required seeds to do. That's interesting. Why can I not interact with my storage? I don't get why I suddenly can't interact with my storage. I mean, I guess I don't have anything to put in there, so I don't really need to. It's just kind of throwing me off going, wait, why? Why can I not? All right. Um, in that case, though, we're going to put that back on. Um, I don't really care what the last one is.
Yeah, let's pop in here and start clearing house. Because I need more ceramic, I need more hides, I need more rubber, I need more electronics. I just need... Get all sorts of stuff we can grow. We can make now. We'll worry about that later. We'll drop all this off. hunting deer cool dev have your early birthday and all that Big guys are dangerous as hell. He hit me once for more than half my life. Turn 30 ways, 30 anyways. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure he's not 19. I am like 99.9.9% .9 sure. But you know, sometimes you gotta feel good about yourself and be like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally young and spry. That was, um, that was my, uh, my mother had called because we're, like, doing a get-together. And it was for uh, Tomb's birthday was part of what it was about. And so she was like, exactly how old is Tomb? I was like, oh, she's not, she's not a day over 27. Which is not the age she is. Explode. All right. What I am going to do is we go here real fast and for the moment get that rubber. Alright, um... Why did that- oh, I hit you with the fishing clothes, like, why did it do any damage? I didn't have my crow, but I had the wrong weapon. Alright, um, uh, back to lurking, this game looks awesome. It's fun! Dismantle's an excellent game. I just need to find my way back to one of the campfires. I'm pretty sure the fact that I just keep finding more and more enemies, I'm going the wrong way. Different kind of mushroom. Um, Alright, let's try...
I don't want to drop all that, but I guess I'll drop the mouse scrap. Look at the map. Um, okay, so the map is definitely the wrong way. The though when a clean shaven look like fresh from high school, it's not a bad thing. Being able to look younger than you are could definitely be a perk. Oh, it's still showing a question mark down here. Oh, it's up there. Okay, so our campfire is straight up here. That's right. Who the heck? Keep it over? Yeah, I mean, that's true of most people is if you're um oh hide time hey bambi no we're not done yet bambi get back here not the sleeping bag sleeping bag that's not what i'm after i definitely want the backpack first I guess for if you smoke and drink and lose your ID. Do I still get card? I have tattoos and piercing. Um, two of them are on my nose. Like, yeah, I don't blame people for IDing because there's um, like it's one of those things that if you ever get it wrong, it's so bad. Like you like lose your liquor license, all that kind of stuff. That's just you just ID. Plus, honestly, these days most people it's like they get flattered if like. You're like, hey, let me see your ID. It's like, do you really think I'm that young? It's like, I could be convinced. I also know I'm a personally a terrible judge of age. like the dog on the other side of the yard. I vaguely remember him being awful. Right, the toilet? Absolutely. at bay. Sleep tightly. You are safe and loved. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Alright, um, meanwhile I'll go here and say I do not want that. Nice. Alright, so let's search this. And head back up this way. To drop off the next batch of junk. Oh, 
Oh, that bear last hide. Get back here, dear. That's the last one. Except to use slightly too much ceramic, and now I need more ceramic. Where is the nearest campfire now? Um, I've got the one over there and the one down here. Let's go to let's go the one down here. All right. Come on. Saints Pork saying, I was going to say, I worked with someone who got in trouble for not checking IDs, got massive fine, and can be service. Always check. Yup. Let me go ahead and use this because I'm almost dead, which sounds like. I think. You're home? Excellent. All right, so we got all that. So let's hold off on the shock absorbers and all that. I guess rubber hunt, pretty good. Um, I'm right about to upgrade my backpack in. I just need um two more ceramic. I actually used a little bit too much. We're just like running around breaking everything. Oh, right. You can look through a window, can't you? Oh, hey. That's right. Right. They're not invol frames, they're just dodge. Okay. Whenever I try to check the large group, they always fight uh, to say they're all over 21. I can see they're not. Yeah. I honestly don't think I've ever had been around someone who got mad who was over 21 and then asked, like, you know, for ID kind of thing. Kind of one of those things that ends up being a tell when someone is underage. Oh, there's a phone in there. That's probably got electronics in it. Anything else down here I care about? Not really. Okay, let's duck back over here and see if we can't go into Way's house and find something worthwhile. Okay, so that room's locked. I can't get into it quite yet. We did get a little bit more electrical circuits. How am I doing so far as getting this set up? And deadly transmission is go. Which means now when I kill stuff here, it stays dead forever.
Now, and the way to check to tell that is it's just talking about the stuff in range of this site. So you are never coming back. And if we kill everything and get another thing to take on the next area to start wiping it out forever. You know, I never did fish in this game. I guess got to catch five fish. Get that sweet XP. Thingsburg said, I actually had a guy who got so angry about being asked for ID, started throwing things and making threats. Happened twice in the same day, and management and the police had to get involved. That sucks. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, we caught five fish. And we gained a level. I have newfound clarity. If only that's the way the real world worked, where you just sat there, you're like, you fish, and I was like, I suddenly have a better understanding in the universe and everything. Okay. So... Animal materials are carrying to regain hit points. Oh, eat edible things. That's fine. Alright, so we still want to focus on... Ceramic. Yep, he stays dead forever. Alright, so... I don't have the means to make lockpicks to go up there. Did I break that door yet? No, it's like 50, isn't it? You're dead forever. You're dead forever. Check all these machines over here. So everyone's basically cleared off everything of value for so far. That's back the way we came. You can the same area? Yep, so you're gone forever. If they drop the mana beads, it means they're in the same area that I can permanently kill them. If they don't drop mana beads, it means they're in a different area. Now what that does mean for me is our friend down here if I can get rid of them.
will be gone forever. Now, they are very tough to deal with. They probably did not help the situation since I rejected him twice, but I'm not going to jail. He came back the second time with a friend and asked, um, are you buying this for him? And they said yes. And I asked to see the idea again, and I told them I cannot make the sale. They called a third party sale. I was called a third party sale at something. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay. You need to go back to your normal path, friend. That's not your normal path. You're very confused at the moment, and it is throwing me off. No, 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 you see nothing. Oh, 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 if he would have got that second hit in, it would have been over. When I say those guys hit hard, he about one shot me, all the way from pole health to that. But he's dead forever, and I never have to see his ugly face ever again. That's part of the fun of this, is like, you get that thing and you're just, like, wiping out everything. It's like, literally just looking at the minimap and going, up, next one. Up, next one. Now they just stay down forever. Ah, oh, there's that backpack upgrade. Alright, well that still is not too terrible to get a hold of those materials. So you got a time crate down there. It shouldn't be too terrible to deal with, I don't think. Because I can run down here now and just break this fence. Alright, so the plan is basically... Open it up, run straight down, grab it, and move. They hit so hard. Yeah. I actually, when he got the hit off, I was like, oh no, I thought that was going to be it. Alright, so we're on the timer, let's move.
Time left one second. Just wiping out everything. I forget how big of an area it covers, because it's not the entire map everywhere. It's like a region-based thing. Let's forget how big a region is in this game. It also gives us mana beads, and those mana beads are a rare material that's good for a lot of production. I can't kill the stuff in here yet, because I can't get in here yet. with the idea of we'll um, keep killing stuff this vaguely direction until I stop seeing mana beads. <laughs> Alright, still got mana beads from that. You found a way to cheese it. I can't remember which. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there is. There's got to be ways you can like, glitch yourself through walls and all sorts of stuff. Go ahead and kill this one up here while we're here. Bunch of random junk I threw in the ground earlier. All right, Fido, let's do this. Oh, you're nowhere near as bad as I thought you were going to be. Um, so we can upgrade the sickle again. Surprisingly, the sickle's gonna use scrap electronics for the next upgrade. Alright, let's... Where's the nearest campfire we know about? Um, let's check. Let's just go down here. We should be able to run down here. Let's poke a hole in this fence real fast. In case I make a run for the timed crate. Okay. See, we can't make the time crate happen.
Yeah, give me that ceramic. Also, it's not fair keeping that tire away from me. So we broke all that stuff, we can drop uh, another bunch of stuff. Okay, so I need more hides. I need more rubber. I need more metal. I need more everything. Oh right, can't break that yet. We got a deer over here I can see. That's another hide for us. Sound needy? Hey look man, our character has needs. There's a lot of them. I knew that was coming. What just happened? You died because I was unwilling to back down when clearly whatever my strategy was was not working. And really, there's no reason for it. I could have just hit right mouse button and thrown knives at it. But I chose not to. I don't know why. Oh, hey. A hide I missed. Excellent. Get wrecked and never come back. I'm really surprised at the how far this um this covers that I'm still seeing the mana beads and not not being like done with them all kind of thing. Um, I don't really care about that. What do the dice do? Drink it. A small cube. The black day is corresponding to numerous values on the side. Critical hit chance is increased. That's fine. I don't need that right now. Alright. So we successfully farmed. Um, what did I need for the... Alright, 
And we can go up here. Come on, dear, we're not done. So we'll grab that while we're in by. More hides, more random stuff. Oh, this is up here. All right. Hey, virtually honest. Not a whole lot. We've just uh, playing some dismantle and you know, doing the dismantle. Are you still in the area? Okay, so that's officially farther. We can't clear out the enemies past that point. All right, so we have hit the border of the area that we clear. I'm assuming this will be the north border up here. Come here, dear. You'll tire out sooner or later. By that means you'll just get stuck on terrain and forget about me and then I'll kill you. Okay. Let's kill these two. I think these are inside the area. Okay, so the first one was in the area, the other one was not. Yeah, it showed me I could dig there before. All right. Because if we do manage to kill everything in the area, that's when, um... That's when we get the item that lets us go to another area and set it up for the same way to start clearing it out all as well. So it's going to have to be a fast one, but that's fine. Just run right over here. Looks like it's a pretty straight shot over. Alright. Let's go for it. Get caught in random bushes, all that's going to help. They usually don't give you a whole lot of spare time. You gotta go straight for it. One second left. Still counts. There we got a fishing spot over there. Alright, so I think we got that whole area cleared out. So we might be getting down to just like some of those little compound things that we can't get into quite yet. What are you, question mark? Yeah, I'll get something I'll be able to use those later, I think, to teleport.
Oh. Lots of empty space. I guess I can start building something here. Okay. So people asked if there was base building earlier. Um, and I said, I don't know. I mean, that's a pretty positive sign of it. I've located an idyllic meadow that was once meant to, for a construction project of some sort. Perhaps we could utilize the empty space for setting up a product of our own. Invent and craft a builder's kit. Build a 3x3 three three concrete platform. Build concrete stairs. Well, let's see. It might be a, a fairly high requirement because I can't do concrete yet. Um. Oh, no, it's right there. Okay. So. How does one even? Um. Oh, here we go. Uh, concrete platform. Yeah, so it requires concrete, and I just... I don't have the forbidden concrete technology. That said, a quick walk around see what materials we can get out of this. So it's not going to look like, like I'm going to be able to do much here. Um, it's also looking like they made it so there's no enemies in this immediate area from the looks of it. Okay. Oh, 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 hey. Hey, buddy. You, uh, you startled me a whole lot there, dog. You feel your inner strength growing. Excellent. It's Fido. Yeah, Fido's mean. Fido wanted to be all bitey. All right, so I can't reach that one quite yet. That's sure. And they're still getting mana beads, so I'm still permanently killing them. Okay, that box is pretty sweet. Um, alright, hang on. Real fast game. Um, that is a lot of electrical components to give me. Okay, that's it for these islands up here. So we've killed all the enemies in this area. Eh. 
And that might be enough for me to actually upgrade my sickle. Multi-talented. Um... All right, so upgrade our equipment. Yes to the sickle. Yes to the sleeping bag. Yep, we'll make the uh, shock absorbing knee pads. And the camo netting. Oh, one second. I saw something. Um, use an event. All right, so that's the thing that gives us fast travel that I could have used. Um, some special items. Okay, we'll keep it on the knives. Trinkets. Do the shock absorbers, maybe. We'll make it so they don't see us as far. That's fine. Um, all right. Well, let's keep going this way and clearing all the enemies and looking for materials here. Alright, so I want to tear these places apart once I've got them all clear. Get the ambush, get the ambush. And I never have to see your face again. Okay. It's not, it's not what I'm trying to do. Break this bed for these materials. Break you for the ceramic. Break you for the rubber. I run back, drop this off, and run back out and collect more of it. Oh. It's more rubber. I don't need to grab all the materials here, but I want to try and grab the stuff I actually care about, like, you know, rubber, ceramic, electronics, stuff like that. That just means I'll be able to craft that stuff later. Okay, we can worry about that all later. We have something to search over here. We learned how to make kimchi. Oh, 
All right, so that's pretty good for here. We get back to exploring the area around us. As I'm assuming this whole area is kind of enclosed. Because to me this seems like if you just want to like base build, do all that kind of stuff, this is where it happens. That also seems like a really good place to like jumpstart your materials. It's obviously they put a bunch of materials here with the intent on using it for base building. Let's run this back, because we just got a ridiculous pile of rubber. A whole bunch of wood and a bunch of other materials. Okay. So it seems to be all the good materials we could get out here. Which the big thing to me would be all that rubber we just got. Alright, so one of the things I want to do is go to our upgrades. Let's untick that. Those two are max. There's no reason to have that ticked anymore. Um, Alright, so I do not want to use the rubber on the hat. I want to save it for the backpack. I need to be looking for beds to destroy. Oh, I can make that. It's fine. I'm looking for beds to destroy for fabric. And just a little bit more rubber. Oh, we got an enemy over here. Let's actually run around the outside here real fast. Oh, wait. Wasn't there rubber in here I couldn't reach before? I probably still can't. Uh, maybe we can. I've had our players that have been able to hit stuff through walls kind of thing. That's not what I want. Alright. I need to get this off of this spot. Um. Okay. Let's double check up here. Got ourselves some more hides. An egg. Cool. So I know we got enemies trapped in that area that I can't get into quite yet. Oh, I can get to you though. I just see all those computers in that other room that I can't get to, and they're just tormenting with all the electronics that are sitting in. And I can't do anything about it. Alright, so we'll run down here, drop this off of the fire. Alright. Yeah, 
Okay, so got a bunch of the locked rooms up there. I can't get through this spot yet, I don't think. Gate is sealed by the link relays until the release. Um, are you hearing a UI hearing a UI knowledge nugget? A UI knowledge nugget. I don't know what you mean by that. Okay. A shortcut to what you're doing with tools. Oh, are you okay with hearing? I'm sorry, I misread that. Um, with what I am doing with tools. Uh, so the thing is, I don't know what the shortcut is, like how much of a thing. Like, if it's going to bypass a lot of stuff, um, then probably not. How do I... Can I break these later? Yeah. Just convenience? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. Hold down the one key. Ah, nice. Yeah, thank you. That I'm totally fine with. Yeah, those those type of things I'm totally fine with having people let me know. It's just like when you're like to make you so like they're not gonna tell me of like some place I can just go and like cheesily get all my materials, right? <laughs> Oh, baby. Alright. So let's see if these, uh... Yep, no, and I appreciate that. Too much backseating can absolutely ruin a game. So I do appreciate that you're extra cautious about it. That wasn't my smoothest maneuver, but you know, whatever. What does this seem? Mysterious obelisks. There are strange obelisks all over the island. Find out if they can be useful sometimes. Inspect three obelisks. Okay. I don't remember seeing these obelisks before on the island. Cool. You didn't run fast enough, dear. Hopefully you'll learn from this lesson. But you know, not really because you died. Yeah, so I'm going to have to have better equipment. Inspector the obelisks. Yep, that's an obelisk. Okay, so the first one did drop a mana berry, but the second one didn't. So that fence line down there is pretty much the edge of the perimeter. Can I hit you through that? I can.
Okay, I got a campfire right here. All right. Let's break this. Um... All right. Okay, so that's not hard to make. Um, are the lock checks always time mechanics up in the latest campfire? I believe so. I can't say with 100% certainty, but the ones I have experienced, that was the case. I like how the character's like, there's a big hole. Let's just go in the big hole. And I'm pretty sure this leads on to the first DLC's content. Oh, I think it was here on the other character. Um, I can't remember. I think it got to me like um, the metal material, which I have now, so it shouldn't shortcut me a bunch. But yeah, last time I played is like, oh, I guess I'll just bypass several tiers of material all at once. Like, so far, we haven't got any materials I shouldn't already have access to. The Underworld uh, DLC is so big. Yeah, I think the last time we played, we ended up getting into this DLC, and we spent the whole time messing with it. Like, didn't really do any of like the main campaign once I had found this place. Okay, um, goodbye. The strange people almost got us. We saw a giant fireball streaking across the sky. Uh, sky, better not, better stay hidden for now. Figures. Um, we'll drop the plastic. Oh, isn't this one of my, yeah, stored materials chests? Yeah, and this is, um, that was the thing that we got that I hadn't seen before. It didn't end up jumping us ahead, though, because I didn't have, like, a means of taking advantage of it. I'm mostly liking that we're getting a really good amount of ceramic from down here. Let's go back for those other materials just so I don't leave them because it'll bother me. 
Um, yeah, the ridiculous amount of ceramic you got this place is fantastic. That's it. I don't think I want to get too far into the this DLC. Like, I'm gonna go through, collect a bunch of ceramic and that kind of stuff. Just save me grinding out later. But I think I'll still need to leave to find rubber and such. It's kind of a cautious guide in how to travel um, to someplace mysterious. choose to travel to the underworld, a realm on the edge of existence, hidden from the radiant sun, where the magic of mana rules, where life and death are equals. What was that? Looks like a door opened. So that world really exists, like, to stay on the side of living, though. I got hides, that'll save us a little effort. Three of us made it before it closed, but everything is different up there. It's all wrong. And then trash the book so no one ever in the future will have the knowledge we've gained. It's our knowledge. We're going for like the whole super villain if we collect all the knowledge in the world and then you know destroy that knowledge it makes us stronger than everyone else because we have something that no one else can ever have more guidance a warning this time heed the words of warning of the catacombs if you choose to travel to the underworld, a perilous realm corrupted and defiled by the greediness of mortals. The wellspring of mana, now unbound, untethered. Okay. So before we push farther, I didn't finish exploring this way. All right, well, it looks like we're dropping off stuff again. Okay. Yeah, we'll go until we get to the point where you actually would go into the underworld. And that's where we'll turn back and keep going with the stuff on the top. Um, that said, if we do end up getting involved, not with the Underworld DLC, but the other one, I'll probably check it out a little bit. Because um, that's one of the big motivators for jumping back in, is they just did have a new DLC dropped on the 19th. So three days ago. Well, I mean four days ago, I guess, depending on your time zones. But you get the idea. Alright, we had stuff down here, that's right. Because in the area down here was pretty cool. I remember we messed with it for a while. Um, and we got a whole bunch out of it, and then we left because just, there were certain materials we couldn't find down there on any reliability. 
Um, and we were running into situations where we are getting bottlenecked on. I think it was rubber may have been the one we bottlenecked on. You just grab the new DLC yourself? Yeah, I can't speak to anything about the DLC yet. But if it's anything like the Underworld DLC, it's good. Or it'll be good. So I can't say that it is good, but the devs do have a good track record. They know people just want to break stuff, and so they deliver. I mean, I certainly know when I go to an ancient underground, like, I don't know a culture, like, we'll pretend Egyptian, but, you know, non-specified culture tomb. Um, that the first thing I do is take a crowbar to literally everything I can for base materials for making things to break stuff at a better rate. Go through the gate of mist at the catacombs if you choose to travel to the underworld. I'm not familiar with them having power, multiplayer. Bound with existence itself. A key to everlasting life. A way to alter the strands of fate. Yeah, I don't... I don't know about the scene picture. I didn't look at it. But if they don't list multiplayer as a feature, I don't assume it's going to have it. Gotcha. Don't know. Might have been just to advertise the fishing and they just didn't think through that people would assume it meant multiplayer. And it could be that they intend there to be multiplayer at some point, or it may have been something they had planned and, you know, then it got bumped. Because that actually happens with a lot of games, is that they fully intend on having cooperative multiplayer. But, like, actually make, like, building out multiplayer in a game is really one of the harder features to add to a game. Like, there's all sorts of things. We have to have the different individual games keep state. You have to have the different individual games manage a whole bunch of stuff. Have to have how you're going to handle latency because there isn't one. This is the right answer. This is the wrong answer. Like, different games have different strategies and how they have to approach it for their situation. So I do think, especially when you have um, small indie teams that don't don't have multiplayer games in their background, they are like, oh yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. They make some prototype in Unity in a few seconds and manage to get multiplayer in there and go, oh, that's that's going to be great. And then you actually start building out a project and you realize it's way more. Yeah, with how large the map is and all the different uh, game state values, I assume it'll be rough to make this one. Yeah, honestly, usually if a game isn't multiplayer to begin with, or sorry, let me rephrase that. If they aren't designing with the expectation of making the game multiplayer to begin with, um, so designing it with that in mind, usually taking a not multiplayer game to multiplayer is so far past arduous. Okay, cool. I was getting an update that there's, um, I've been working on getting a, uh, a retheme happening on the channel, um, that I was going to be changing. Like right now our, our alerts for like follows and that it's just, you know, it says like, thank you for following and like, it's just text to the screen. Um, but I've been planning on doing like an actual theming on the channel to add like an intro song and everything that's like actually for the channel and not just something that the licensing was free so I could just snag it and not have to worry. Um, but you know, all that stuff takes time. Let's get an update that, you know, it's going to be pretty soon that I should have the next phase of it, which is getting pretty close to done, so I'm excited for that. We've been holding off a lot of the art assets until the music was done. Because sometimes that can... It's, um... 
it's a thing that I've had before streaming. I was authoring interactive courses that teach software development, and like we're talking, it was a big company that like was one of the leaders in their industry kind of thing. So it's not just like me doing it on my own. And there was a number of times that we would have a song to introduce the course because it's, it's like all fun themed kind of things. Um, but we would get the song and we would change our our art assets to align with it because it's just like, oh no, the song is like this song is a banger, but does not fit what we were thinking for the art. Um, and I've had that happen many times, but I've not once had it where we got like art assets for like, oh no, these art assets are too amazing. Scrap the song, like we need to change the song. Um, so with that experience, it's like, no, I want I want the music done first. That way I can kind of use that as my base point for you know, doing the art stuff. But like, I already have roughs of them. Um, all the stuff I want for the thing. I've already got a person who I'm going to be commissioning for the animations and everything. Uh, now granted, the wait time for that individual is very, very long. But I think it's like I would rather know I'm getting it, getting what I want from someone like that, than you know. I've I've had not not in streaming, but I've had in other projects where it just went with someone, and I mean a lot of times it didn't even deliver, and ultimately I was like, okay, well, you know, I said I needed this by this like this point, and I even gave your grace like double that time, and you still not delivered. It's like it's just too long, man. Because they give very lax deadlines to begin with. Alright. Okay, and we leveled again. So vigorous. Max hit points. No. I would like build limit plus 10. I did not know there was a bid limit, so let me deal with that. I need to use the restroom real fast, so I'm going to be right back in just what. So it is a good chance for you to uh, stretch your legs. You know, get yourself a drink. Get yourself a snack, whatever you gotta do, take your self-care seriously, and I will be back in just a minute. Okay, and I am back. Alright. 
And what do we got going on here? Um, so a cooking stand we've unlocked. What are your material requirements? I th think we'll do that in a minute. So what I'm, what I'm trying to not... Oh, wait. We had the machete. The machete was down there. So your slashing damage is 35. Your slashing damage is 30. So technically that'll be a downgrade for now. We... Okay, we leveled. Wait. Did I level... <laughs> Am I going to sit down and it's going to be like another one? Okay. I think I actually leveled when I sat out the campfire. Um, so I wanted to check if these will stop popping up. Yes. So I actually do want those materials, which is what I figured. And that's the only reason I didn't make the machete right now. Is I want to make sure I get that, um... That backpack upgrade. I still have some check because pretty soon I should start being able to make lockpicks and such. Speaking of which... So I won't be able to get in there right now. I was checking to see, because some of those you'll find like a hole in the wall. That's still not the button I need for that. Untraining habits can be tricky. Oh, that's actually a lot of you in here. That's fine. I just see the big icon, and I'm not sure which one it is. Okay, that's somewhat concerning. Cause that's even a different enemy. That's the big guy from the beginning of the game. Alright, well let's not worry about this spot necessarily. I'm not seeing materials there. There's one of you as well. Boo. So I got a bunch of things that can't really fight well right now. I might be able to do stuff. Um
Okay, so it's just plant material. Um, and I'm not fighting those without having something I can hit them at range with. I'm sure I can find some place that just like regular houses with beds and all that. And get my last little bit of fabric I need to, um... That I could find... So there's a bed that'll give me some fabric. I was really hoping to find a campfire while I'm here. tang with that right now. Um, we're pretty close to the next thing. Yeah, the bummer is there's actually stuff in here I could use. Oh, we got stuff that would give me... Oh! Oh, interesting. Okay, and so we're back in the range of stuff that if I kill it, it stays dead forever. Dismantle or destroy a thousand objects. So let's run around, kill the enemies we saw nearby, because there's another one over here. Alright. Yeah, let's drop this down here. All right, and drop this off. Kill the enemies up to our top left. And there is an upgrade I can get for the beacons or whatever they're called. The arrays. 
um, that if I use that upgrade, it will tell me, like, oh, there's eight more enemies in your area. That is not what I wanted to hit. Okay. Be fine because it's forever dead now. All right. I believe where we're at right now on the road, which we just found our campfire. I was gonna say I believe down here counts as a new region that we won't get um. They won't stay dead. Okay. Try and find the next nearest enemy. Okay, yeah, they won't stay dead. Yeah, so I'm not going to go down there. Instead, I'll focus on killing out what we got here. They don't stay dead either, that's fine. Avoid the coordinates E13 and U7 at all cost. Do not enter. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. All right, so we got ourselves some more um, recipes. All right, only five more fabric like that will be good. Drop this off at the fire. Grab the next load. I was expecting to find an electrical circuit there, but that's fine. Okay. So you're the next house in our list. They're dead forever. All right. It's kind of sad when you think about it. It's like, we're taking all these houses, like houses and houses and houses worth of furniture and somehow making a slightly better crowbar with this or a slightly better this or that. But I mean, we're still just annihilating all of this stuff just to get those little bit of incremental improvements. I mean, it's a game, it doesn't really matter, but this is one of those things that you look at you're like, huh. Can't wait to get the sledgehammer and stuff like that where you can be like, you know what? I don't feel like dealing with this wall. No, it's not a wall. 
All right, so I only need three more fabric. That'll do it. Bigger backpack time. There'll be one less thing I have to worry about. Let's grab the last of these materials here. Not, not invention. Upgrade. Backpack. So the next one requires steel, fabric, electronics. Um, I'm going to untick that because we don't have the access to steel yet. Um, I'm going to unclick that because we don't have access to steel yet. Okay, so like everything's bottlenecked on rubber for the most part. Actually, I'll take the backpack. All right. Those did stay dead. You are super annoying, man. Okay, so we killed him, and it is considered in the same region, so he's staying dead. Go back to our campfire and heal up, because that did not go smoothly. The good thing is I'm getting so much of the uh, the mana whatevers that we're going to be in great shape for all that. Um, I also wanted to check here. So you have the materials for the cooking stand. That might be worth making. Oh, the compass. Main the compass right now, because that's for fast travel. So at 12, we get the lockpick, which is very soon. Um, I can get the machete here. We can get sweatbands. We can get all sorts of stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make the machete. Okay, let's go ahead and make the dice. We'll make the sweatbands. I'll make the bag of blood. I'll make the bandages. Okay. So let's look at our inventory. So Machete does 30 slash damage. This is yours less than... So one upgrade in that machete should make it the better option. Uh, I don't really care about the other stuff there. Um, you can be bandages to bind up wounds, but takes a long time to apply. Alright. Yes. Um, so I can have two of these.
Yeah, that seems good to me. All right. Cool. Oh, I didn't look. Let's um get the recipe for upgrading the machete up there. That way I know what I need to do to get my slash higher. So upgrade tools. We'll set the machete to be up there. The bag can stay up there. I don't care about the sleep bag. It can just kindly piss off. All right. Okay, so this is there's a quest down there. According to the notes of the table, the graveyard keeper was spooked by a mysterious lights emanating from the back porch of the graveyard. Uh, he seems to have locked the gate and buried the key at a grave with the largest tombstone around. Okay, and like I thought, um, if I kill them, they don't stay dead here. Does this game have any other alive people, or is it just a player? Um, I'm not aware of there being other alive people. Hey, Kid Cartel, how's it going? <sighs> digging is an honest job. Ah, yes. Digging, specifically at grave sites, is an honest job. <sighs> All right. Hey, I've been I've been doing pretty good. Okay. The link right really should be right here. The key fits the lock with a resounding click and is granted further access into the graveyard. I would... I would like to descend. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this. How did it end up here? All right. Oh, yeah, I can make another thing to, uh, to make the zombies stay dead. Which pretty straightforward. All that means is I'm just going to go to whatever is like the next neighboring place and that's where I'll do it. All right. Uh, 
Okay. So you can make basic lockpicks now. I was, I was like, why are you marking this? Alright, and we can make tackle. We can also make painkillers. Actually, let's make those. Okay. The big thing is the lockpicks. I'll need five electrical scrap and all that. We're going to have to go and get a bunch of electrical scrap is one thing I'm noticing more and more. Um... Let's see if we can't make any of this happen. Let's break everything we can. Some rubber over here. Cool. All right, we already killed you. Now I chase the deer just a second. Okay, and that one is out of range. It's not going to stay dead. Yeah, so it'd be two minutes early from wherever I can reach it from. Okay, I'm assuming you won't stay dead either, zombie. That's fine. I probably can find electrical components in here. Enough to set up this one to be an area that the zombies stay dead as well. And ceramic and a whole bunch of other materials. Another thing I uh, oh can't break that. Another thing I uh, do is all this greenery I'm collecting. I uh, take that up and make more fields in the farm, and do better about popping by the farm from time to time to keep stuff growing. Alright, so I can't get into that place yet. That's fine. Broken most of the stuff here already. Alright. 
Yeah, so you can do a transmitter. So deadly transmitter, I gotta get um four more circuit boards for. And then when I start killing stuff here, they'll stay dead forever. Not really seeing much electrical around here. So the fast travel is that from fire to fire? No, it'll be from the uh, the relays. Let's see. Clear the basketball field of enemies in sixty seconds. Okay. Cool. Yay, XP. That is a weird quest, but all right. All right. We can fast travel now. Cool. Strider's going to bed? All right. You take it easy. Um, can you check your upgrades? Sure. I'll be you see Swell Strider. Thank you again for tuning in. Uh, let's check your upgrades. Yeah, so I need more iron and I need more plastics for the machete. And everything else, I'm waiting on stuff. Potato cam? Ah, let me let me go ahead and give the camera a kick. Alright, so I'll take that camera mode to uh, reset itself. Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna have to run around and try and figure out the um Sorry, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh we're gonna have to run around and um deal with getting the various relays set up. Alright, come on, disappear already. Come on, camera. There you go. And we'll give it a second to kick itself over. And turn it back on. All right, and it's not quite where it should be. There you go. Oh, uh, the one next to me. Yeah, now this one I have to do the relays. I have to activate all four relays. Um, and at the moment I have, I think, two of them. Locked car door. Yeah, so we've only got the one done so far. I don't have the expert lockpick yet. Oh yeah, I know it's all good. I've been, like, not doing the stuff I need for progression too much. Oh, it's just scrap. Let's grab that. 
So I'll end up seeing that a dozen times and stopping to be like, wait a second, a dozen times. Let's grab it so it doesn't catch my attention again and again. There. Oh yeah, we can go to the farm. I want to get to the farm anyways to update our plants and all that. I need to shred way more of this place so it's easier to navigate. Uh, that's one of those spots you can't do anything with quite yet. Alright. So sit down. Do that. Pull up our crops. get our inventory real fast because I'll need to swap you out for you and now I can put you away and grab the seeds Alright, so let's grab the lettuce, because I don't have any of that to spare. Not enough seeds. Potato. Tomato. I just shredded most stuff. I play in beta and some upgrades quests wanted um, too much. Some places didn't even have buildings anymore. Yeah. Gotcha, so it takes two to plant, not just one. So I want to get the lettuce going. Need to get way more crops going than this. And that's our current limit on what I can plant, so... i drop those off at the moment. And I believe these won't stay dead. Nope. Oh, let's get that relay before I forget about it. Because that's what I need to do is, like, tag all these relays real fast. And I'll end up, if we end up playing this, like, a bunch, I'll end up shredding a bunch of the stuff that's in the way. so it's fine. The field is infested with X-Human. Um, it is time to turn them into fertilizer. I'm not going to do that right now. Oh, you just need hide and scrap? Okay, that deer. Um, hey, deer, the one I let, you know, let go away for a second... Uh, I changed my mind. I need you to die. Give me your body. Give me your body. Give me your body. Thank you. 
Your contribution to the thing I have no idea how important or otherwise it is has been noted. And then promptly forgotten. Alright, so let's run over here. Choose a reward. Iron, onions, or potatoes. I'm gonna go with the iron. Oh, interesting. Not quite. Ooh, 35. That means in like one upgrade on that tool, I'll be able to uh, start shredding those two. Oh, we're gonna. Also, what are you going to throw? Also, what are you going to throw? Also, change every time you use them. I'm sorry, I'm a little confused with that. Sometimes the wells give good stuff, sometimes it's bad. Just bad. Yeah, I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Missed the context on the wells. All right, so we'll go over here. Here the lavish villa. Oh yeah, no, it's... English is my native language, but there's definitely times I join other people's chat, and I have to stop and look, it's like, what the heck did I just write? How did anyone manage to figure out what I meant by that? Alright. So we can upgrade the bandages. I'm not going to do that yet, because that requires some of the materials I need for my machete upgrade. Okay. That appears to be the front door there. Let's we'll clear some of this out because there's like no maneuvering room in here. Okay. Drop you off. All of that and you're locked. That's slightly annoying.
the way that deer moved from what I thought like the trees are moving is like, oh god. Why are the trees moving? Alright. A thunk. Alright, we can make fish and chips now. It's so weird. I'm still listening to the normal lo-fi station. And I'm enjoying this. But this does not say lo-fi to me. They're also very excited about 1991. I mean, don't get me wrong, 1991 was fine. When the internet started picking up. Like, really just at the beginning of starting picking up, I guess I should say. Drop all that stuff off. And it really wants me to make the outdoorsman, which I will. I just want to make the machete upgrade first. Traveling here, you think everything is still normal? No. Fish can be, um, fish should still be safe to eat. Try to catch a few for the cooking recipes. Okay. Fish, you were here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize the fish I already caught counted. So by the time I sat down, it's like, you've already done it. Good job. I'm gonna catch at least one fish while I'm here. Alright, so next up... We've got one way down here. That's not something we care about. That's a link tower. So link tower is over there, back by the villa. Let's grab the link tower while we're here. Because that'll also give us our fast travel. So it should be just north of this place. Hey. I appreciate that the animation for bandaging is eating. 
Which is pretty upsetting, actually. Oh no, however will I get through? Oh darn. I use the forbidden technology of smashing a hole in it. That is not a bandage. It's pills? What? Did I get pills? I thought I thought we had a bandage. All right. I know pills were a thing we are a thing we can get. Oh, nope. You're right. They're pills. Bandage had its own animation. Yeah, I thought I had already made the bandage they equipped him. In our darkest tower, I implore you to stay vigilant. We will emerge from this stronger than ever. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the ground station. Give me them circuits. Okay, so we grabbed that one. We've got the campfire down there and all that. Um, so I'm assuming pink means it's grown. We'll, we'll go find out. Or just the opposite, pink means it's not grown. Okay, so we have scavenger, we got vigor, we got pitcher, we got hoarder. And we can actually make a basic lockpick. Sweet. All right, so our relay is way down there. We got another one over here. We got some locked doors over here. Those are, I believe, experts. Uh, do fishing spots re respawn? I recall there was talk about that. Um, I would say the way I'd put it is that they do not run out that I have seen. But I also have only grabbed maybe like 10-ish fish out of one. Not really push as far as I can. I can't move from a relay, right? No. Now those are white. I don't know what the colors mean on those. Alright, so let's run back over here. Because we have a lockpick, and I can't remember if that one need a regular or an expert. If it's a regular, I want to see what the advantage is. Oh, let's also, um... I have 75 seconds to kill... Okay, it's still like, you can't do this shit. That's fine.
Okay. You should have already received your amber pill container. Do not be afraid to use it. It will provide you permanent rest. This is an automated recording sent from K23, Crown Station. Yep, they gave us, um, they gave us a suicide pill. That was the one thing they got. It's like, here's your first trinket. It's a suicide pill. I'm like, um, come again? <laughs> you gave me what now? Why would you give me this? Actually, wait, 30, I can break you. Nope, no, I can't. At first, the pill is made um, for if you got stuck. And somehow, made... like, then somehow that joke made it into the actual game, if I remember correctly. Interesting, I didn't know about the background. Let's drop off this first load. I bet you got a lot of places you got stuck. Understood. I actually haven't gotten stuck yet. Grant, there's been one or two places I'm like, oh, that's asking to get stuck, so I didn't mess with it. I got a recipe for bread. Oh, that's enough lettuce for us to grow our own. So let's drop this off. Let's get us in our metal bar. Okay. So that's the reason we ran back up here is like, oh, we can, we can get this stuff real fast. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff for upgrading our gear. Um, fabric and hide. Do I really want to do that right now? That's fine. All right, so we're going to run up here to where we have the relay thing to teleport. The array, not relay. Array. So fast travel, so we can fast travel back down here, and we start going for the next relay. So we pull up our map, the next relay is down here. So let's go straight down, to hit that, well I mean I have to go out and around and down, to hit that link tower, and then we'll cut across. But first these park benches have to go, because that's... Iron bars. Oh, also, actually, something else we're going to do real fast is we're going to go right here. Um, transmitters. Oh, I'm one circuit board short. Okay, uh, let's see if we can't find a quick circuit board down here somewhere.
It's not looking like it. At this point, I've cleaned a lot of this pretty well. Oh, we got another thing that's locked up here. That might get us the circuit board we're looking for. Dear Sue Jamie, last night when you were asleep, I buried some valuables outside our house. Here's, um, uh, that's just in case they come back searching again. If not, back by Sunday, use the stuff to barter your tickets for evacuation transport. I'm sure they'll listen to reason. Dad. Okay, that shouldn't be hard to make happen. Um... That's one, and the other one was the opposite corner of the property. Thank you, Mr. Guy. That was some nice free stuff. Oh, computer, give me your bits. I would like them all. Lots of circuits. Yes. And with that, we may start wiping out zombies in a new location. So run up here, drop all this off, run down back over here, and transmitters, deadly transmitter, yup. And now everyone dies. Forever. Making the neighborhood safe once more time. Um, okay, so let's reset this. Is there a thing? Yeah, I could reset it right here. All right, so what I need to do, okay, I think I had the solution.
I do not. Let's reset again. So you go down here. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. No, why are you moving? Okay. We're all right. We're fine. It's fine. We've solved the puzzle. When it didn't move for me, I was like, why aren't you moving? Okay, so we got another one of the things that I can make another zone where the zombies never come back. Just running around killing everything in the printer perimeter as best we can real fast before moving on to anywhere else. Because of that thing, basically I get the rare materials for killing them. And plus I make it so when I go through in the future I don't have to deal with any of them. Because they're all dead. system of rationing has been put in place. We still have an abundance of food and supplies, but we need to conserve our strength for later. This is an automated recording station K-23, the Crown Station. Alright, so... Just break everything. I think I've seen seats of style yet. Ah, I was hoping we'd get something exciting like I could get my first unit of steel or something. It's fine. Alright, so let's drop this off real quick. Some more enemies up here. I see there's a bunch of tires up there. We'll deal with that in a moment. And lots of stuff we haven't checked before. Get all that fabric. So the question is now, do I take the electronics I'm getting and use them to make another zone so that when this, I kill the enemies they stay dead, or to go in one of the zones that I've already set that up and instead tell it's so like, okay, 
um, show me the stats of like how many enemies are left. Because when I full clear an area, I get more of the um, the other material that lets them stay dead. The uh, the big blue orb thing. Spend more to get more. Gotcha. I mean, it makes sense, because ultimately the other one's just information that can be very useful. I'm just going on this fence. Get out of my way. So, grab this. I want to go up here and grab all this rubber, because that's the materials I need to hunt for a lot. But I figure it's already in this place. Let's, you know, rip it up. Okay. I kept getting low on the metal scrap recently, so I'm gonna like more of that. We're not quite there yet. Oh, here we go. There's there's the rubber we need. Let's see if we can upgrade our machete yet. Upgrade machete. Oh, it's going to take scrap electronics to make the next one. So our scrap electronics are going to be going in the machete next. Um, Because now I should be able to break quite a bit more with the machete, but it's not enough for these. So I want to say these were 40. Yeah, so those are 40. We need more scrap electronics. This will be the outside wall over here, correct? Yeah, so we'll keep we'll finish searching the inside of this area. I'm assuming that doesn't work in you. Nope. Sure, I don't remember killing you all over here, but that's fine. What? I didn't there's no way I missed all those, right? Okay, sure. I'm confused, but alright. Either way, there's a bunch of fabric in this place we can take. Like, I know we didn't finish this kitchen, at least I'm pretty sure. I just, all those uh, mana orbs is like, wait, what? Really? I'm not going to worry about the rest of it. That's close enough. Um, Alright, so... I can run up here, drop off these supplies. I don't think there's much electrical left in the perimeter. Um, what I am going to do is I think we're at that point. I don't really have reason to not build 
that. Imagine putting so much money into a house just to have some man of the crowbar destroy it. I was mentioning that earlier, like, all the effort that would have gone into building all this stuff. And then you just, like, rampage through it. Alright. So we can now cook there. I'll make the tackle. All right. So the next thing I want to do is they're not far from the farm. We're going to finish clearing out. Yeah, it's finished. Make sure this area down here is cleared out of monsters. Um, this looks like the outside fence. There might be a line of where enemies could be here. Okay, so there's a little wall out here. So I need to I need to go around the perimeter out here and kill the enemies out there. Uh, but first, before we leave this area, I just want to make sure there's no more enemies I've missed in here. Because like I said, when we finish killing this area, I'll get my um thing that keeps them from dying. I'll get the main ingredient back from it. Allowing me to continue to expand that. What? Why am I finding these? I definitely did not leave them on the ground here. Don't really understand. Yeah, so here's one we missed. Now I could circle around over this way. Look, go ahead and we'll run along the north edge of this. I don't think we missed a along the border. But just in case. I did. There was one right there. Yeah, and those are the ones I gotta go out and around for. Because that looks like that's the border to the region right here. An enemy is already dead when you installed the deadly transmission. It spawns a mana bead. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I thought I'd already done the lap after the mana bead was installed. Or, I'm sorry, the deadly whatever transmitter was installed. Give me the metal. All right, yeah. So I think we're good where we've cleared everything from inside the perimeter. So now we're going to run outside and finally open the other gate so it's not blocked. All right, I got one enemy up here in the corner. That's part of this. Well, that's interesting. It counted you as one that was in here. I figured you would have been the next zone o over. It looks good. You have a knack for finding cute games. I mean, yeah. So you should not count as part of this area. No mana bead, right? Okay. I got concerned when the one orange thing was like, mana bead is like, uh, hang on a second. You're not supposed to give me a mana bead. It must have been one that was on our side and we got close enough that it wandered across. So just for caution. I'm going to kill some of the ones near the edge. Are you fighting zombie? Yeah, zombie-esque things. They're basically zombies that got like mushrooms and stuff growing out of their face. All right, make sure you didn't miss A up here. Trespassers will be shot.
Yeah, no, that's, um... Yeah, I know that different. That's what I was saying, is I think the orange one spawned inside the area I put the thing at and just happened to wander out to the north. Um, so when I saw it to the north, I was in the impression that it spawned up there. But I'm guessing it just wandered up there. In the case, you got it. Yep. Yeah, break stuff. All right, let's get back down here. Bonk. Yep, so you're outside the perimeter. Uh, most of these will be inside. I was not expecting to sneak one by. You know what? Play it safe. Take a pill. Before we fight you. Alright. Yeah, destruction. Oh, yeah. That's, um, the game is literally called Dismantle. The gimmick of the game is everything can be destroyed. This car, actually, let's not hit that one. It's got green stuff. This car here, if I get 85 damage, I can tear it apart. This barricade, 55 damage, I can tear it apart. So I don't have enough damage yet to break it, but someday I will. Yeah, there's a couple of exceptions. Usually they're, like, important things that... Like, yeah. Alright, so these ones don't count. It's fine. I didn't think they did. Because I'm figuring that white line in the minimap is the border. But I don't remember what does and does not count for being able to open that door. So I figured we just kill them all for the moment. I actually wanted to hit... The zombie, not the deer. I mean, I will certainly take a kill on the deer. Yep, and that's far enough south, but I do want to run along this edge. I'm not expecting to see any enemies, but I wouldn't be surprised with, like, one cheeky enemy down here that I gotta deal with. Well, we got our farm down here. Is there not a campfire by it? Well, that's lame. Amateurs, I really want in this place. Not really. Let's check the other building. I'm not going to bother trying to destroy everything in there. Oh, we had an art place to destroy everything in this place at the moment. 
We don't really have the inventory space for it. All right. Well, that's still surprising to me that there isn't a um a campfire next to farm, but that's fine. You get to live, dear, because I don't have the inventory space to take your stuff. Hey. Alright, so there's a couple down here. Okay, we got one, like, right on the corner here, so let's kill that one just to be safe. How's it going, friend? Alright, I've leveled up. Invention, inner lumberjack, and a gyrosphere. Okay, so let's get inside this perimeter. Because I think we've got them all. There's a good chance I'll have missed someone somewhere. I do think we have them all killed. Don't tag the... Well, I mean, it shouldn't matter. But just as an extra precaution, let's hit the relay to open both doors. Cool. Cool. All right. Oh, you need a different circuit board. Okay, that's fine. Well, regardless, it doesn't look like I got them all, because I'm assuming what happened is when I have them all, it would just be like, okay, here's your thing back. All right, so... XP from fishing, fishing speed is faster. Alright, before we do that, let's go eye, headgear, oh, can only be equipped and I equipped at that, alright. I think it might be. Uh, I think it might be easier with max ascension. Never mess with it, honestly. Gotcha. That's not what I want. All right. So we got all that. Go to upgrade. Um. So you're missing almost everything. You need a little bit more electrical scrap. So we're not using anything that uses. Well, wood's fine. Electrical scrap. Um, do this. Yeah, so an electrical scrap and actual full-on electronics for that one. Um, we got a bunch of other stuff that needs materials. Um, we can make some new stuff. You need a lot of fabric. Stabilize this footing, so st interesting. All right. So we've got the farmlands just up here. So I go ahead and visit there real fast. Um, drop off some stuff to grow.
Yeah, that's I figured you could strafe around stuff real easy. Alright, let's kill you real fast. Alright, that's what I figured. Okay. Before we get too far with that, we'll switch to you, grab the hoe, okay. And switch it out for the seeds. All right, lettuce first, because we only got a little bit of that, so let's get that happening. Now the onions. Now some more corn. Get the potatoes going. Tomatoes next. Used for seed, crop size. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, so with that, we can go ahead and put those away. And let's see what we can make with what didn't go in the ground, because that's spares. Um, cook. So. So I can't make that. I can make tomato soup is one. Uh, I can make chili soup, which I shall do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. And so I can't make those two, and I don't have the supplies to make any of the others. Neat. All right, so that leads us back to what we were doing, which was going for the last area down here. Can I? There. Place the waypoint. That's our destination. Because once I open that, then I can get to the area on the right. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, okay, we can make that happen. And you might actually be the last one. Nope, you're not actually in the perimeter. That's fine, I actually don't really care. Um...
Okay. So we got a big guy over there. Let's get this. I think you just need levels to unlock Ascension. I don't know what Ascension is, to be honest. Bonk. 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 And dodge. And bonk. 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 And dodge. And bonk. Bonk. I feel like a bully. It's like, come on, that's not fair. I got a campfire. All right. My bad. I thought you did. I um, did because something you said earlier. Never mind. It was well. It's okay. Give me all them circuit boards. They are where keeping me from better machete. I still it's like, oh no, how will I ever get through the door? Well, there we go. Don't worry, I opened the door, it's fine. Okay. Imagine when we get a little bit more damage in, this place would be a really good place to come to. Just because of all of the, um, all the electrical boxes are probably a good place for electronics or circuit boards or whatever. Alright, so now let's go ahead and run over here. Bonk. Hey. A large construction site. I'm assuming that's to the south. Alright, fine. We actually probably do have materials I want. Too aggressive with the enemies that I'm seeing as like really weak compared to me now. It's getting me hurt.
All right, we're just killing everything real fast, getting materials as we can. The island has fallen. Am I to fall? Am I to leave this haven of my rest? This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Ex excuse me? Oh, come on. Let me let me hit the thing you're sitting on. Yeah. All right. So we're going to run over here real fast, drop this off at of the other campfire. Grab the uh the scrap we have left there. And then run back over. Can you dismantle zombies? Yes. They give you little bits of metal scrap and fabric and such. And mana beads if you make it permanent. All right. I vaguely remember, I think it was this one was the really awful relay, if I'm remembering correctly. There was one of the relays I remember going, oh wow, this place sucks. All right, machete upgrade time. Oh, that just requires iron. Okay, that shouldn't be hard to make happen. a safe transit as soon as possible. Hamburger. This is an automated record sent from K23, the crown station. And we've reached the point that now my mache should be able to break um the big tires. This will give me fabric. Pop down here, drop this off, run back up here. Oh, we got more electronics in the bottom of the room. We got a computer down here. We got a new type of electronics that we haven't found before. Alright, for fighting now, I shouldn't be using the machete, or shouldn't be using the crowbar anymore, I should probably be using the machete.
Right in our house to break stuff in. Oh, walls are coming down now. Hit that point. Or wood building stand no chance. That's you call an open concept. Little bit. What you call a lockpick? Yeah, that's um, that's the ones that's really fun. It's like you'll have the place you find way later, and you're like, oh, how do I get through this place? Um, and you'll just end up getting like enough damage that you just go, you know what? I'm just not gonna go through the locked door. I'm just gonna go around it. destroy all the walls or anything. But it is nice because doing this really helps you see. Because I always have to sit there like rotate the camera again and again. I just don't like spending the time doing that. What'll end up happening is as we get more and more damage, we'll still be able to break the walls, but instead of taking like four or five hits, we'll just knock it down in one. It gets really kind of funny. Okay, so this is a brick building, so I can't get through it. So we're getting all the materials we could possibly want out of this. Alright, so now I need to drop these off real quick.
Oh, oh let's check that dumpster. Alright, drop those off. What is the big mark down there? One of you guys in a very enclosed space, which is not my favorite idea. kill you real quick. Alright. And now we trash the place. As is how this should always work. Alright, so we got some electronics up there. This will give us some metal here. Okay, so the problem is, I have to reset the zone to get the crate open. Which I'm not against, but I'm probably not going to do right this minute. It'll be pretty annoying to deal with. And usually just gives you some materials that can be helpful, but not that important. We'll get all this back there, grab all the stuff out, huh? and then we'll probably go for the relay itself. I'm getting a lot of great materials out of this. One thing I need to do is get those recipes off of my bar. Like the the um the food recipes. The other recipe oh, I'll get this chair out of here. The other recipe's fine, but the food recipe isn't really helping any. Okay, and then second I'm going to need to bear with me chat because I need to use the restroom and I'll be back in just a minute. So, bear with me. And thanks so much for everyone who's been tuning in, been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing, doing the bits, those donos, and the raids. It all helps. I really do appreciate it. I do hope you have been enjoying the stream and I'll be back in just a minute.
I did not unmute. I was saying, I'm pretty sure you can. And I just don't know where. And then I read the rest of your thing. I was like, ah, yes. I was like, don't get me wrong. I want to make all these eventually. But right now, I want to be able to see the tool. Okay, see, that's why I wanted to be able to see the tools. Because we're going to upgrade our machete right this very second. So upgrade machete. Okay, so that's going to be hard to do much with. We're up to 45 damage. Um, I don't really care about the baseball cap at all. Or the build limit quite yet. Um, for inventing new gear. Rubber ducky. Prevents you from drowning in water. Okay. The gyroscope we've got set. What do you need, rubber ducky? Well, you're cheap. Go ahead and make you. Monster lure. Ah, oh, you had me until you saw that scrap electronics, and I'm sorry. I really like the scrap electronics. You do more damage against trees. Sleep all night. Work all day. Melee damage versus trees is plus 50%. Um, versus this is... Hold protection and an extra material carry slot. So I'm, you're going to be hard-pressed to get me to let go of that. All right, cool. All right, so downside is it did respawn the enemies nearby. Well, that I can live with. So smash. <laughs> Oh, just regular attacks kill them now. I'm now level 15. Nice. And I can now make a baseball bat. I don't believe that's going the way I want to. I remember this one sucking really bad. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, there's a bunch of, like, the really dangerous enemies in here. Alright, um, I probably have enough to make another one of these relays. Oh, the power station? Okay. I probably have enough materials to make this so the enemies don't respawn. So I'm going to run back there and do that, because these things are going to suck to deal with. Um, to run the whole way back real fast... Hey friend. Hey friend. Hey friend. That way, if I take the time to actually kill them, they stay dead. Alright, so it's right around the corner here. So I shouldn't have to hit the campfire or anything because, you know didn't take any damage. Transmitters. Deadly transmitter. Yup. Get that crap out of here. And now you worry about trying to clean sleep the whole place. Like, we'll fight anything we see. But I'm not going to go through trying to, like, track down every monster in this one. 
Not yet, at least. I'm mostly focused on getting that last relay online to progress the main story. I didn't check. Okay, right, as an expert. I see. That's why I didn't open it. All right, time for this to get sweaty and awful. Yeah, remember the problem is running into here was that half the time you couldn't see where they were. Okay, that's one. We'll fortunately stay dead now because I did that. Because I remember last time I tried to sneak through it all and I ended up basically doing that strategy anyways. Um, alright. I'll do extra fishing speed, that's fine. And what is it saying I can make now? Baseball bat. Um... Originally used hit balls, but for now, so it's 24 blunt damage. Is that gonna end up being what? What is my crowbar at? What is my fully upgrade crowbar at? 28. Okay. So yeah, the baseball bat's just gonna straight up be better. Yeah, I made lots of mistakes. Let's just go ahead and pop the box over here. Alright, so that's enough for the gyroscope. All right, so let's see. Moose being the enemy reminds me of the hasted Pee-wee mob. Yeah, that's the whole thing, and he hits you for like a lot of damage. Without this armor, when I played the last time, um, I would get one shot by him sometimes. It was like right on that fence. Imagine how grasping vines. That'd be Path of Exile. Yeah, this has super turbo speed, grasping vines which slow you down, and also, like, laser vision or something ridiculous.
Okay. Sounds you have no fun casting your spells. I've rarely had problems with that. Um, just because most of the builds I had didn't really end up using a lot of spells too heavily. Like, as far as that kind of thing goes. Use their, like, attack skills or whatever. It describes the legend of an ancient folks who inhabited the island. It all started when the great blue tear dropped from the sky. With great thunder, it hit Mother Earth and ripped her open. This is how manna came to us. The bittersweet gift from the sky. Cool story, bro. Uh, find and investigate the myth tablets. All right, and now break everything. No one must ever know of this place. It is my knowledge and I shall keep it to myself. Man has made the undead? Yeah, I figured as much. Ends up being a bittersweet gift in that on one end we have undead. On the other end, we have like man and all the benefits it gives us. All right. I don't think we really care about too much here. Oh, I should probably break the park benches, shouldn't I? Get the metal from them. I don't care about most of the resources here, but it is worth grabbing those. All right. None shall enjoy the park ever again. I know, right? All right, so from here, I'm going to turn in this material. And I'm going to run back to the relay and teleport back for the time being to advance the next thing. Grab you. I believe the next thing I honestly need is I need the hides to make the baseball bat. Yeah, I need the hides to make the baseball bat, which will allow me to, after an upgrade or two, get enough blunt damage that I'll be able to use that blunt damage to break new things. Um, you have been a bad lurker. Does this game have link storage test? Yes, it does. And lurking's totally fine. So, open this. All right. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Could this be your way out? It's missing fuel, though. I can try scanning for fuel cells using the link tower. And I believe story progression-wise, this is where we had left off the last time. But I'm already better equipped than I was the last time I played. Alright, before we get caught up in hunting all this, 
If we're getting caught up in all this, let's quickly run over and try and catch a couple deer to get those last two hides I need for the baseball bat. Um, because ultimately I'm going to need that stuff anyways. Can I get in here? This is an expert key, right? Yeah, it's an expert lockpick. Um, but if I kill two deer real fast... I'm going to cost me a bunch to scan for this. I just don't want that thing on my map. Scan for fuel cells. It'll be boom, 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 and boom. All right, well, that one was wrong, but the other three were right. Okay, that's expert lock pick. Luckily, we are rocket science, so nothing launching like rocket post would go wrong. I mean, I guess the implication they have for him is just that, like, he just needs to put fuel in it. It could be a thing that we have to repair it more later, which I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Um, but if it's just working, like, it's all ready to go and it just needed fuel, that'd be all right. All right, so the deer stay dead, too. That's information. Oh, I see a deer. Ah, uh, no hide. Um, and meanwhile, let's go ahead and grab our shovel. break through this wall. Alright, so that's brick, so I cannot cut through that. And we are in. Okay. I guess let's rest at it. All right. Oh, you did get me on the backswing. not worried about like all this right now I'm trying to just get those hides because otherwise I'm just going to have to like re-explore again anyways in two seconds I'll go and rest since I took that bad hit
Okay. We get to be way more aggressive now, and it's really nice. Well, it was going real smooth to that one where I just whiffed like four times in a row. We'll just pretend I nailed on the first shot. So I do want to collect a bunch of these materials, but I'm really more concerned about the hides. Which means I need to stop looking up here. Drop that off, we'll grab these. Okay, I see there's a phone down here. Okay, I don't care that you're blocked. I'm still getting out of here. <laughs> Got a recipe for a smoothie. pod left. There is still the one pod left, but we have uninstalled the fuel cells just in case. Do not use the pod. This is an automated recording sent from G23, the crown station. I like how like, do not use the pod, and we're like, yep, we are using that pod. Oh, I mean, I've already been out here. The Vicious Twins? Hey, uh, let's talk about this. I'm not looking for a boss fight. No. No, 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 we're not doing this. No, friend. I have rules. My rules are I can go to this campfire and disregard you as a fight. Okay. Now we fight to the death. How do you not see me? And we 
to sneak up on you and smack you in the head. Well, that was underwhelming. I ran away because I figured it would be a really, really tough fight. Oh, wait. Oh. oh. So I assume they never come back because it would be weird that they would give me that kind of material that I could just chain kill kind of thing. Right, so what's it saying? Alright, well we could probably find we have that relay we have the link tower down there. Bridge of Demolis, travel north, okay. Alright, looks like I might be able to go through sandbags now. Yup. Alright, how's the way in? So I can't go through that door. Oh. I destroy this bench. Alright, so we got circuit boards and all that, so let's drop this off real fast. Alright. I still haven't seen any deer in a very long time. Oh, speaking of which, deer, deer, give me your hide. Sweet. One more and I can make my bat. Oh, and here it is. Yup. All right, so let's see if we can't find... Need to find a campfire. Okay. There's probably a campfire spot not super far away. Destroying that forever and make a run for it. I don't have to worry about getting snagged on stuff. There you are. All right. Okay, so we can upgrade a bunch of our stuff. Still haven't had any steel come in. As far as inventing stuff, though, it's baseball bat time. And let's check our upgrades. We have the baseball bat. Can immediately be upgraded to level 2, making it better than our crowbar. And then level... Well, sorry, the next level up, so we can make it even better. Alright, so there's an iron. 
Uh, so that baseball bat is already just simply better than our crowbar. Uh, which means our crowbar, I believe, serves no purpose anymore. Alright, so next upgrade will handle that. All right. I do see that we're slowly freezing. Alright, so we need 45. Oh, you're freezing way faster. Alright, let's get back from here, because the cold is absolutely cutting through us. Um, it does seem like the move right now is to try and upgrade this baseball bat. With a little bit of upgrade on this baseball bat, I should be able to get some work done so far as breaking a bunch of stuff. Now, the good news about it is the baseball bat already does more than the crowbar, so I can already break a bunch of stuff I couldn't before. Um, so that gives me an opportunity to do a lot of good stuff with it. The downside is I'm way the heck out here. Nowhere near anything I can do. Hot water bottle. Um, can we place this bottle? Warm water placed in this bottle radiates warmth. Alright, so we've got that. We've got a fur hat, which requires hides. We've got a lumberjack, which just helps against trees. Um, so it looks like I'm being heavily pressured into getting this anyways. Okay, so it's already in our trinkets. Um, the air never gets warmer. Your body is now protected against the elements. Cool. There have been reports of hostile attacks in multiple areas of the island. These are false rules perpetrated by antagonistic forces in our midst. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. Uh, it's breaking fridge this time. What do I get from breaking a fridge? Lots of iron and electronics. You got a recipe for baked potatoes. Oh, and even the stoves are no match for me. Which gives electronics. Alright. 
So. I think it's time that I need to revisit a lot of places. I left a lot of materials behind. You can break you two? Yep. I should be able to get a lot done now. Energy like electric scrap and all that. We're breaking the big logs down and everything. Okay. So let's heal up because I did a terrible job in that fight. Um, Alright, so... And the reason I keep doing that is just so when I do fish, it's nowhere near as tedious. Um, we have an evade chance thing, so just get a chance to avoid damage in general. Alright, upgrade gear. Okay, so we still don't have a source of steel. Yeah, it looks like these two are probably our focus in the meantime. Um, so where is the nearest relay? Down here. Let's go make our way over there. Just breaks up while we're here. I'm pretty close to being able to upgrade the base of that again. Um, and we're gonna be getting pretty close to being able to break some of the smaller cars soon. I also need to drop by the farm real fast to um rotate the crops again. Like one, maybe two more houses. And we're set up for a bat. Alright, bat upgrade is ready. Alright. I just need more iron for the next one, too. Okay. Oh, that's a relay, not... That's not what I'm looking for. Um, that's what I'm looking for. That's okay, I needed hides and I'm getting them. I'll do the minute, I'm busy. Stop juking me. Okay.
All right. Oh, am I breaking concrete now? Is this the moment? I can't tell what I'm breaking. Okay, no, it's still just wood. Yeah, stay there for a minute. Guys, right, so let's go over here. Hit this. No new upgrades, and where are we going next? The re all right, sorry, right, we're by the farm. We'll just go straight to the farm. On the meanwhile, surrender all of your furniture. Okay. But that's one of the main things about the game is like farming up all your materials kind of thing. Which does require you to just go through and trash stuff. And then circle back and then trash stuff you place you know, trash things in place you've already been. And also good news that we have for now. Oh, that's fine. You get to live, I whiffed. Alright. But um another thing that I end up doing here. Is now I'm getting all these electronic scraps and start going to more and more zones and just setting it up where we are, uh. Make it so that when we kill stuff, it stays dead. Hey, I got an achievement green finger. My plan how I'm going to approach these is I'm going to try and have at least a couple of everything in the ground, but um, I'm going to focus on whatever I have the least of. Alright, so switch you to the hoe. Switch it for seeds. All right, so that gives us lettuce. Um, onions will be next lowest. And then wheat will be up to that. Then we have corn. I wish the animation was faster for the planting. I think that's plenty for the corn. Um, we will grab the carrots. Potatoes. Uh, 
Then the tomatoes. And we're good for just whatever we want now. Okay, so let's see what recipes I can cook. Alright, so we can make the smoothies. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cook and eat. Cool. Um, I should have enough for fish and chips. So one, two, three, four, five. Unless it has to be that specific fish. It will. Never mind, I do not have enough for fish and chips. Um, let's see. Da da da. Not enough. Da, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. And not enough. Alright, cool. Oh, I can probably make more. Let's see. Yeah, I can probably just make a bunch of this. You already have max HP. Okay. So I no longer get the permanent stat buff once I do this once. So, okay. Good to know. Okay, so we broke a bunch of stuff for steel and... Well, not steel. I keep saying steel. It's like iron ingots or whatever. We're halfway to upgrading that again. All right. We can run down here. Oh, yeah, we never did... Oh, wait, that one's the one that's up top. That's why we didn't solve that one yet. You have a garden? I love garden. Yep, we are growing stuff in our garden. So the big things I need now are steel, and I just need more iron. I need steel here, iron here, stone there. Um, and actually, I might be able to break rocks now. If not yet, one more upgrade. Okay. Yeah, so I need another upgrade. Oh, what about you? White mushrooms. Alright, but you need more damage to do that. Not what I want. That needs to be 55. Okay, um... So I want to go over here to the right and we'll start working on this area. So we might be able to get into that place that requires the expert key. Now I can start breaking a bunch of the walls and all that. Um, and I'm pretty close to being able to get my next damage increase as well. I'll add this to your wishlist. Yeah, it's a good game. They just did a, a DLC update. Um, and the good news with the DLC is it's kind of just additive. So it's not one of those games that, like, if you choose to not get the DLC, it's just kind of ruined. You can just pick it up later and continue your game with the 
additional content. All right. Only nine more steel ingots. And we'll be good to go there. What about the dumpster? Oh, what do you give me, dumpster? A bunch of everything. I live with a bunch of everything. Small rock. It reminds me of undying. Not gameplay wise, just the coziness. Yeah. Well, it's it's funny. It's a zombie apocalypse game, but it's really just kind of cozy and chill. Because, like, just the whole thing where you can put the stuff out, and if you clear an area, the zombies are gone forever. That's gonna go through the wall like Kool Aid Man. Only six more. Three. Okay, the next upgrade will give me that one anyways. really good at cozy vibes um also everything automatically going into the box helps oh yeah this will get us our last bit of the metal bars so that'll give us our next upgrade of their base on that plus a bunch of materials Let's get that upgrade in place. Because then we can break even more things. Upgrade gear. Baseball bat upgraded. Huh. I mean, sure. I'll upgrade the boonie hat. Okay, um, I'll make that too, just because I haven't been needing a lot of those materials. Alright, so what's the next upgrade for the baseball bat require? It also requires stone. So we can't break any of that yet. I assume the statue's a no. Yeah, statue's indestructible. Yeah, so it looks like the cards are 70. It also looks like fabric is just easy to come by now that I can break these. The fabric's not that big of a concern anymore. I assume this is nowhere near able to break that. Nope. So one thing I can do is I'm finding lots of electronic or electrical circuits and all that. Um, so I feel pretty good about upgrading the um, the array to track information. The so transmitters, scanner radar, such as monster count. Shows statistics such as monster count in the area. We have killed 78 out of 88 scan monsters. Okay, so I got a pack in there and a couple packs down there. Alright, let's get rid of them. 
They've been permitted to be here too long. So I need 60 to get through the door itself. Hey, Muka, how's it going? Yeah, this game's a jam. Alright. Breaking everything. Alright, uh, let's try running down here real fast. There's new stuff down here to break. Um, we can't go through the brick. Can I break you yet? Yes, I can. What do you give me? Cool. There's a lot of resource gathering in this, but um, it's really good. Oh, can I break you now? What I'm trying to do is figure out my source of steel, and if people know, don't spoil, please. So as you upgrade, it's like, okay, what's the new things I can break, and what do they give me? Yes, so the uh, the main like stockpile chests, they are shared. Which is just wonderful. What about you? What are you made of? Yes, yeah, so it's a lot of like these circuits and all that are the ones I want to go after now. Alright, so let's run up here and drop off because our inventory is getting full. I'm going to run down and tear apart a bunch more of the um, electronics with machinery. Uncommon. We've got a hundred of, or a thousand of them, so that's good. Okay, so it still needs a little bit more. Alright. Okay, we found our first steel. So... The really tough doors with metal bars give steel. That's the reason why we're running around just smashing everything. It's like, I, I figured we had to be at the point progression-wise that we could get steel. I just need to find things I could break that actually give it. Um, that said, I still need to find... A source of stone. I mean, obviously it's going to be rocks. But, like, is there a type of rock I can now break? Oh, there's our metal box. Is this one that's 50? Nope, I can break that one. Okay, 
this is the hard to break one. What about the barred windows? Nope. Oh, what about this? Nope, 50 as well. Yeah, it looks like 50 is going to be cut off where I'm going to get a bunch of stuff. Alright, we'll run over this way. See if we can't find more gates and all that. Also check some of these rocks at different sides because we're on the fence being able to break some of them. Okay. Okay, so the dead trees I can now chop over, chop off, part with my machete. The live trees are still too durable. It's not what I want. Alright, neither of my weapons can do 50 yet. Like a lot of the signs in that we haven't been able to break till now. We keep hoping we'll get different materials from some of them, but so far not really. And even we don't end up getting a bunch of new materials, all of this gives me XP, which XP unlocks more recipes and progression that way too. That's still not what I want. I didn't figure we were going to be able to break it, but you had to try. Not everything is obvious. So, there's got to be a way I can get stone, unless there's like another tool I haven't unlocked yet by level, which is possible, I guess. you. There's just something satisfying about, like, clearing all this junk out. Oh, wait. Can I break the... I don't think we've done a dishwasher yet. Okay. Dishwasher does more of the same. That's fine. Is 
transmitters. Okay, and you also... We'll get that. And now I can go back and scan for monsters. Monsters are marrying in Cape Panarium. Zero. Um... I was under the impression we got our material back after that, which is still fine if we don't. That means, like, this whole area doesn't have any monsters left in it. Oh, there's a graveyard here. It might have that same refined steel gate. Grab that. On refined steel. Well, that's stone. That's not actually what I was expecting to get out of this, but you know what? I'm perfectly okay with it. Try and get enough for both the weapons. The speed at which we're upgrading these tools is also, um, I think it's like basically you find the material and it's not hard at that point to collect a whole bunch. We only need 18 stone to upgrade both of these. Okay, so we're full, full, full on that. All right. Let's upgrade some tools. Then we're going to level from all that junk. Or not. All right, baseball bat is now maxed out and does 54. And the, mach the machete requires electronics. Alright, so you're at 54. Let's go grab the rest of that stone over there since we know where we can find some. I mean, electronics are going to just tear apart the oven in that place. So we should be good to go. Okay, to actually break that, it's going to take a little bit more. Let me through the trees. All right, actually, um, we'll just go for the electronics and go for upgrading more of our tools. Got a new shirt, Road Warrior. I can make a baseball card, apparently. That's, I guess, a big deal. So, let's upgrade our machete and see what new things we can get. Um, so, you have scavenger and hoarder. So, first, let's upgrade our machete. Okay, so we need steel for the next level for machete. No problem. Um, so, road warrior. We have running speed. 
I still have not made this box, and I don't really have reason to not make it. I've got these materials up to my eyeballs. Um, common compressor. Doubles the backpack slot carry for common materials. Sure. Magnifying glass. Um, increase the search efficiency. I don't have the plastics for it. That's fine. Um, we can't do anything about that or that or that. Baseball card. Um, knockback strength is plus 100. Cool. Sure, again, I've got more than enough of the lumberjack outfit. Yeah, so it looks like 20... Yeah, 20 will unlock a bunch of new weapons and all that. Alright, so... That's 70. 55. Remember, there's a bunch of stuff that we needed 50 to break. Because more than likely, those will be our next good target. I think they're at the other location, is what it was. Yeah, let's go back to the other other side of town and start breaking stuff. Now we can do over 50 with the um with the baseball bat and all that. So fast travel. Go back here. And refine steels from the pipe. Oh, let's also check. Alright, so I need just a little bit more damage before the um, machete can start breaking that. So I think we upgrade the machete first, since it's more important for actually collecting materials. You think some of this would be like actually important they'll be like yeah don't actually break this we're just smashing all this infrastructure and leaving it Game sense is important not to be broken. You cannot break it if you want to. Yeah. Pretty much. You're lucky. I'll get through there sooner or later. Just you wait. Let's go get our machete upgraded, because uh, that'll open up a bunch more stuff we can break. Like, I think we'll be able to cut down trees with that. Maybe not all of them, but a bunch of them. Alright. Um, 
There's all sorts of stuff here. It's like, what should I even upgrade? Uh, feel comfortable doing that. We got plain materials for you. Uh, not for that, though. Okay. Yep, so trees are no match anymore. Is it load bearing? Yeah, of course. It barrels load of materials. Yep. Oh, yeah, we couldn't break these before, right? Yep, more steel. You figure pipes would give lead? Probably. That's the... Oh. Ah, 85 damage to the columns to destroy him. Yeah, we're not going to be able to pull that off. Oh. No guns give lead. Yep. Alright, um, so we got that one. Yeah, it's 80. So let's fast travel down here. Because I want to say this is where we had all of... Yeah. Let's break a bunch of stuff. Alright, not yet on that. And before we get too far, let's quickly... Transmitters. Deadly transmitter. Already installed. Scanner transmitter. Yes, please. And we have killed almost nothing in this entire section. Excellent. Oh, here comes the steel. Yep, it's all the uh, the pipes and everything. Once I upgrade, the bat is able to get it. Now, downside is I need to gain some levels before I can get my next material, my next tools. I think the next tools are at level 20. But I can upgrade my backpack, and we'll see what else we can upgrade. And then do some like story progression kind of stuff. Good chance I'll need the steel anyways for those new tools, so I'm just gonna collect it while I'm here. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and drop in here real fast. And I believe this is the last upgrade for our backpack. Take that off the list. Um, that finishes off our cooking up stove.
All right. Well, I think it's time to go start murdering stuff. Get out of my way, tree. Alright, so we're just kind of running around clearing the enemies out of the area. Can we stop for snacks afterwards? Absolutely. I mean, it would be not okay if we didn't stop. Like, if we didn't stop for snacks, what's even the point? Up. Oh. You shouldn't you shouldn't have let me see you, Bambi. I needed that bone. Alright, so I can break you now. What are you made out of? Nothing super exciting. Um, was there a fire rest spot around here? Not really around here. There's one down here, though. So go down that way. Just hey, Kool Aid them. All right, so we broke a bunch of stuff up here. Let's grab that real fast. Run back down. <laughs> Look, they're just trying to hide inside. It's like no, there's nowhere to run. Yeah, just running around revealing as much of the map as I can. Uh, do you have to be a man when playing this game? Yeah, it's, um, you don't, like, customize a character. There is just a specific character you play as. Uh, so it's not one of those games that you have, like, a whole range of characters to choose from or, like, customization you do. Can you change clothes? Uh, their clothes are equipment. You can change them. Like, I have... An outdoor thing. You start with, like, a t-shirt. Oh, I can't switch while I'm here. You start with a t-shirt. I have, like, an outdoors thing. Um, if I were to go to... Why am I blanking on this? It's fine. Um, you have a couple different options of different things you can do. Like, you have, like, a lumberjack outfit. You've got this one. You've got, like, a t-shirt, which is what you start with.
just wrecking stuff, killing stuff. It's fine. Breaking those is worth 300. I can't break those trees. Can't break the fat trees. The little ones are worth like 250. The palm trees are just too strong. So apparently down here I have to worry about overheating. Um, Alright, so the nearest fire is up there. Let's drop off our stuff because we're filling up on end material. Yeah, there's no seasons, but um, to the north it gets really cold, and to the south it gets really hot. Um, and it just basically boils down to you need multiple sets of equipment to be able to wander around. I guess one thing I should probably do is drop this off. And see what we can do to change our clothes. Um, all right, let's go. The so cowboy hat requires hides. And the ice brick requires plastics. And one thing I do need to do is I currently have a thing that makes me hotter in my inventory from earlier. Um... Okay. So I need plastics. Why do you want to be hotter? Um, when you go, there's like up north, there's like a snow covered area. So you want to be hotter for the snow area. Are you going up north soon? I probably could go up there, like, right now, honestly. Alright, so we already cleared a bunch of the enemies down here. Like, right now, I'm just, like, on a rampage breaking things and killing enemies to clear areas out. But really, I probably should be going north to progress the game in a more meaningful capacity. Yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm I'm gonna have to go north, aren't I? Either north or south. I'm gonna have to go to one or the other, it doesn't matter which. But um I'm assuming we'll get our materials we're missing on. Trimming anything down to a desolate wasteland is progress. In this game, yes. Alright, so let's see um if we can reach the link tower. Oh good, a source of hides. Hey, come back. I need you I need you for a hat. Oh good, you got startled right to me. That might be enough for the hat. Let's go ahead and kill these ones over here while we're here, though.
All right, so I should definitely have enough for a hat now. All right. So we will create our cowboy hat. Uh, I'm not sure I want to use a mana shard yet. All right, so this is damage block. Does our cowboy hat have levels to it, or is it just those things that... Okay, here we go. Hides in rubber. Right, that'll give us more protection on that. All right, so... Inventory, it's time to put on your cowboy hat. So that's cold protection, so that makes it hotter. So I need to take that off. The heat does not falter you anymore. Oh, come on, Bambi. Alright, so bamboo is just wood. They're definitely getting really strong really fast now. Okay, we've reached the edge of where things stay dead. Oh, I hate those things. Um, I mean, it's on our side. Alright, well, let's back off before that kills me. Okay, so those de are dealt with. Let's back off and hit our fire. Okay. Because we used all those healing to deal with those plant things. Upgrade gear. Got the bones to spare, so I don't care. Alright. Yes, yeah, so our goal now is to try and reach the next thing so I can stall the thing that keeps the enemies dead when I kill them. I do like that I can now one-shot even the throwing ones. Um, is 
Crash Island dead? Oh, is um Dead Island dead? Yeah, so Dead Island, I'd, um, I'm basically waiting till they get an update because it was just crashing way too much for us. Um, I played through a bunch of the story yesterday and I had a good time with it. It's just so crashy that I did not want to put up with it today. So I'm kind of kind of waiting till either like a video driver or something else. You know, something else fixes it. I think I should be like, fight a bunch of stuff. Kill mortar pods. Not, not yet. I don't think I need to go that way yet. I'm trying to get to... I think these somehow part of the obelisks? Okay. So what's over here? Oh, I'm not doing the entryway. That's way over there. Uh, but the link tower is down here. It probably goes around this way. All right. So a good choice of five per level. Um, I'm mostly doing that because I know at some point I'm going to have to fish and I want to be as fast as possible when we get there. a warning about the heat being down here even though I got a bunch of stuff to help with it kind of everything I could but that's okay well that sucks and just want to get to the ray Good job, zombie thing. You played yourself. Big numbers appear. 
Okay. And we have our fire. I can't remember what else I needed the plastic for. Um, we have the rabbit's foot, the baseball card, oh, magnifying glass. What's the magnifying glass? Um, improved search efficiency. Sure. And I'll make the shivs that we had been avoiding making forever. And I'll make the frag grenade that I didn't even realize was there. Uh, we'll go to our inventory. I don't really want to just keep all those. Oh, I can equip a whole bunch of special items now. Um, yeah, sure. That's why I got confused about the medicine. I was like, why did my bandages not work? And it's because I had all these other things. That I hadn't even noticed we had the extra slots yet. Alright, so activate you. Cool. There's no new link towers nearby, so it doesn't need to do all that. Transmitters. Deadly transmitter. Yup. Scanner transmitter. Yep. All right. Leave. Okay. Now with that note, as we're slowly cooking to death, um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do? Oh, here. Let me let me delay the ad. Let me snooze the ad. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be wrapping up, which is the reason I wanted to snooze that ad real fast, and so you wouldn't get.